<sighs> Canine, if only you were an attractive female. Hey Red, how you doing? Put these damn sheep away. Yeah, I don't know why I'm tired today. I shouldn't be. I woke up at like fucking 3.30 or something. You need a leg now, don't you? I forgot, yeah. Think I bought some legs? No, I went back on my decision to buy legs. I should build a little hospital room. And names of 16 months. Appreciate that. Another, if only you were an attractive woman sitting here. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Hit me with all these nice compliments. Oh, you got yourself stuck in the. to drugs, I know.
Come on, guys. It's an alpaca. Well, there's always our next life person. I'm moved. What? Like you ain't for the fifty months. What are you getting, Kev? No. Oh, I see. Say your own buzz for 5.6 days, but a healer max serum. I mean, I can't say no to that. Someone will die in the process and make it not worth it. It'll be tight. Five days is a long time for a drone, though, to be real. of the pigs, Martin, is the leader of the faction. Oh, lead pig. Lead, lead hog in charge. Top hog? Whatever. I'm trying to pregnancies. You could be the big pig too? Nice. Much better than my options. It's a few lads. Definitely the scariest raid we've run into. They should come this way. Well, I don't know. This wrap's weird. We shall see. I had fucking mortars. Afternoon. Tail hats? Uh, I think most people... They have a real name, though. They call them tail hats in this... Uh, I guess I don't know. I've always just... Uh, they do have a fucking name. I do know. Most people lazily call him, like, Booney, Dave, and Davy Crockett. Davy, Davy Crockett hats. But, uh, they have an actual fucking name. Trevor. Pigs are so fucking tanky, dude. They hate to die. I bet you don't have them. Oh, you got six hours in you. Oh, I killed the hog in charge. The head hog.
Oh, there's another pig. Why does it look like you're just fucking standing there, kid? Hell yeah. Excuse me. Okay, you're on your way. Wait, are you not a pig? Oh no, you are. You're a pig, you just have uh, imp horn colored pig ears. No, wrong button. No, still the wrong button. I thought it said four hours. I guess I was selected on the wrong person. That sucks. Fuck. I could have swore it said four hours. And that Warcano was on the way. on top of the drone I accepted for five days. drug addiction yet? No. But you might be your drug addiction before I re-recruit you anyway. Hopefully, because otherwise I have to figure out how I'm going to keep you away from the damn drugs. Prosthetic legs in this bitch. I got like four people on one leg right now. They're not great in this game. the easiest fucking conversion ever. Oh, you're just kind of a baby, huh? Oh, volatile, creepy breathing. Classic pairing.
Ooh, that might actually fit there. Toit. Just got switched to steel. Bye. They're going to start fucking eventually. Come on, baby. What's the guy got to do to get some kids around here? Fucking medals. Come on, team. Work. Go get a neural supercharge. Hey, Workana. You're still not pregnant. I'm pretty sure you've got broken ovaries. Which is upsetting. You've been fucked day and day and just will not make a baby. Is anyone else ready for love yet? Nope. Nope. We could blame it on Trevor. Maybe he's got a narrow urethra. You'd think with all the research we have into babies, though, we'd be able to tell if or not you were broken. I think it's just because you're an old hag, Warcana. You're 44. Your eggs have gone bad. But you were 41 when we started. My mom had a whoopsie kid when she was in her 40s. And like the other day, me and my brother were like talking about like how lucky he was, you know, with no birth defects or anything like that. And my mom was like, why? And I'm like, mom, like you were like 46 or something. That's like a really high risk pregnancy. And then she started doing the research and was texting me later like, holy shit, I had no idea. I'm so glad I didn't Google any of this when I was pregnant. <laughs> Steel. I need plasteel and gold. Steel's good too, though, and it's in an accessible spot. Okay, we're can. I went to Alice's little Halloween party. Oh, oh, gold. Except it's in the worst location. It did point me to some little Halloween party at school today. That was fun and awkward. 
and uh, good. Alice had fun. And that's it. That's my day so far. Ate some uh, oatmeal and watched a little hockey. And I did not wear the unicorn onesie. Though my daughter did ask me to wear it, and I said no. Because I'm a bad dad. The last time I wore the unicorn onesie, I posed for a picture doing uh, the epic tuck for the centerfold of my calendar, and I just can't quite wear it as casually anymore. Especially not to a school full of kids. It's got memories, you know, associated with it. You're officially married? Congratulations, no ham tab. I hope it was a wonderful whatever. Wedding, party, courthouse signing of papers. You got married and you're still allowed to sub to me? I like your wife already. Or husband. There was no bulge. My penis was tucked firmly between my thighs, nearly into my butt cheeks. Just got back from the honeymoon. Ooh. Where'd you go? I feel like you're all getting married right now, at once. You don't plan on combining money, wow. Interesting. Disneyland, oh that's cute. Did you like it? I I didn't, I, I mean I went to Disney and I guess I went to like Epcot and I know there's supposedly a bunch of things for adults to do there but uh, it's not my scene. It was cute though. I'm glad I went once. So. The best birth control you could ever ask for. Is this another no kids? We got a lot of this talk lately too. I mean, if you're not combining your funds... Definitely don't have kids. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of the thing. I was, it was like a nightlife and stuff, gluttony, you know, and most of that, unfortunately, is, uh, I agree, related to drinking, which ain't my scene. Hey, I support it. I was just talking with a waitress about this the other day. Uh, we should, they should start making some like short term marriage contracts, you know? Like that you gotta renew every few years. Yeah, I mean, you didn't have to put the obviously give her money if she needs it part. You're both adults. Hey, man, if you don't gotta... I, I, I don't think you gotta... You gotta be supportive. <laughs> the older I get, the harder it becomes to be... Um, willing to accept people's bad decisions. Especially with uh, peers, you know what I mean? 
So like, no joke. I think if I had a partner that was a reckless spender, I'd be like, no. <laughs> no. I mean, barring like life-saving surgery or, you know. I think I'm a very supportive person to my friends and family as long as I don't don't have to lie to them about their stupid choices in life, you know? <laughs> Three accounts, hers, mine, and ours. I, I I really like all that shit. If you would have told me that shit five years ago, I would have laughed in your face and thought how silly. But like, nah, like all that shit makes sense. I really, really like if I was going to have one suggestion to any couple on the planet, and this is going to come from my own, you know, failures in marriage and life. Um, but like, never let your partner feel trapped. Um, and that usually is a financial situation, right? Like... And it's really easy for you guys to make an agreement that makes the most sense in your life for one person to stay home or one person to do whatever, work less, especially when you have kids. Uh, but that leaves a person trapped. Um, so I do think that, like, separate accounts and stuff like that is a fair way to make it so someone never... Because you don't want anyone sticking around just because they don't have a financial way to escape, right? You don't have a financial way to leave. I think that's the biggest reason for uh, two people to maintain careers as well, like less about need and more about just, you know, just in case. Yeah, freedom is a huge thing. And, like, you should trust that somebody can have fucking 15 grand in the bank and they're not saving up a nest egg to run away, right? Like, it goes, it's a two-way street, absolutely. And, like, to a happy new couple, it's super easy to be like, oh, we don't got to worry about those things, but, like... You know, you might, and the last thing on earth is you want you want to be with somebody who just feels like they're stuck with you and don't have a better solution. And I think there are a lot of relationships that unfortunately end that way. Um, they'll eventually end, but it takes the ending takes so much longer. And our life is short, man. When it takes somebody fucking three years to decide to slowly start getting their life back on track so they can leave you, dude, like there is no worse scenario to be in. But simultaneously, you care about that person and you, you know, you don't want them to be fucking ruined. So what do you do? Besides let them try to get their life back on track a little bit. <laughs> Gift giving. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons for that. I agree. I agree. I think those are very reasonable and mature things to consider. And like at the end of the year with taxes and stuff like that, obviously, you know, you can, you know, discuss whatever, go over whatever you're going to have to anyway. Special job, moving pain for the party. Yeah, I get that. I, as a single dad, that's a big single parent problem when it comes like when I talk to people online and online dating and stuff like that. It's like a huge, I mean, even like a 45 minute move is like. I'm not doing it, dude. Not with not with a kid in school. Like, yeah, I you don't know him type. Like I said, as long as I've been mentioned it this a lot but as long as you're communicating about it like two two adults making their own decisions it's you know that's 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 key in my opinion it's the people that like have those feelings about their partner spending their partners spending and don't discuss it so they're fucking hiding money or keeping money secret that you can again those are those problems.
You still want to finish one line? Because I think I think that situation, especially, it could be really easy to feel like the best way is to like support and help them dig themselves out, and but they don't find any way to, you know, correct the behavior. It's a hard thing not to not to do, man. I think financial stability and awareness is like hell. Yeah, like the relationship at its core, even, Sale. Like, it needs to be, like, it should be what the relationship was built on in the first place, right? Part of the reason you want to be with that person is because you want to share your life, build your life, better yourself. You feel like that is something you gain from having them around and being able to communicate with them. Not just you guys have a really fun time and enjoy your, you know, enjoy hanging out, but like truly want to share the good, the bad, the ugly with them from the get-go. be amazed how many people five years they still aren't comfortable with like real talk a fucking cold snap man it has gotten hard to grow in this map like grow crops not my my space I've got plenty of space to move around Oh, the five-day drone's over already? We did well through that drone. Which things? The mushrooms? Or the things, the neural superchargers? It's part of my ideology. They like tech and getting their brains pumped full of juicy neural supercharging. I want to go kill all the predators before that's a problem again. See you, Lynx. Let us make murder. One down. Who else is out here? We got two wolves. Both near the top. There's two more links. That's near the top. Oh, there's a cougar there. <gasps> Chocolate soft serve. Gross. Down, 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 down. More judgment for sure on your ice cream choice than uh, your bank accounts. Oh, fuck off. Popcorn machine too. Are you sure it's her with the reckless spending? Mm. 
starting to feel like it's the snack budget issue. Dude, snacks are so expensive. Like, my bestie has the biggest snack budget of any human being I know. And I'm always, like, trying quietly not to judge him. Especially, like, road snacks. If gas station snacks and stuff are fucking bonkers, dude. I'd rather not eat. I know, you're all upset, but trust me, we're saving the world out here. Yeah, popcorn's not a terrible buy. It lasts fucking a long time, too. Or at least I treat it as if it lasts. I never check the expiration date on my popcorn. Probably should. I feel like it lasts forever, though. Tab, you're gonna be this hot female pig. You like to craft and got biggest, biggish brain. A little social game. I'm gonna let you work on social. I just have, need a lot, a lot more social folks. Don't research. Uh, don't research. Do craft and tailor. I like ice cream. It's probably my favorite, like, worthless sugary treat. I don't love chocolate. Ice cream. I like some chocolate in my ice cream, like chocolate chunk or fudge you know now we're fucking but like fake chocolate flavored ice cream twist cones that's very childish I respect cones are great Honestly, if I'm if if you're gonna serve me ice cream in a bowl, I don't even want it. I'm too calorie conscious to fucking blow up my daily diet without the joy of a cone. All no skill, nice. Thanks for the sixty nine months. I'll blow up my diet for a fucking ice cream cone, though. You know what else fucks? Another, as I've gotten older, really become a big guilty pleasure. Root beer floats. You haven't had a root beer float in years? Red Robin, dude. Bottomless root beer floats. Get 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 down with your bad self. Get sick. I saw today that you can make like bread or cake just out of ice cream and flour, and I kinda wanna try it. Make some wild cake bread flavors. 
Crispy chicken. Dude, I don't remember what the burger is, the Red Robin that I get, but it is fucking Red Robin menu. Now I want to remember the name of it because it's just fucking good. Menu. Oh, don't do this location thing. Why does that burger have a fucking weird, wrinkly jalapeno on top? I just want to see the menu. No, I don't want to order food. They're not going to bring me food. It's 10 p.m. They're closed. Menu. Why does that take me to ordering? Just menu, please. All right, I give up. They have a Royale burger? Fuck, I think my burger's gone. I haven't been here in forever. Fuck, my burger's gone. I don't remember what it's called, but it's definitely gone. Now I'll just cry myself to sleep. No, there it is. The smoking pepper. Just real good, man. With a bottomless root beer float? I should treat myself. Oh, I love an egg on a burger. It is great, but very hard to eat. You don't. That's definitely not a get-it-on-a-date type burger. Because you're going to be yoked. Settle an argument over a burger name? Are, are, we, are we starting a burger chain and we're naming burgers here? Have a good one, Ohamtab. I'll try to keep you alive and get you pregnant. Oh, you're over your addiction? Let's get that man back. Stegro's still a young lad. They're getting there. 11. Wish that gold wasn't, like, unreachable. No drugs. Drugs are bad. Same simple burger. Just a burger with onions. One calls it American style. One calls it French style. Which one is wrong? The onions aren't even done French onion. <laughs> I don't, wouldn't call, I don't think either is doing it right. I think they're both liars. Is that an American thing though? Onion on a burger? Is that not a thing you do everywhere with a burger? Are you in Japan? Makes sense though. Just just make it up, dude. Nobody really gives a shit. We do the same thing with all our ethnic or I guess ethnic foods here. Prosthetic leg, finally. Uh -huh. 
Hell yeah, Callus Negro. Can't lose the toes off a prosthetic. This rabbit's got moves. Colonists living up here now. Wow, they already smoothed all that. I need fucking biofuel. I guess I'm gonna have to start making it. I got enough hay, I probably can. We're still in that fucking cold snap. I'm never gonna get a growing season. I'm probably running out of drugs. Skyline needs a leg back too. I don't know. I gave him peg leg. Didn't even know I did that. Ranger, the only one left that needs a leg. Feels like it's never going to end. Get your brain supercharged before you go down for surgery. I've grown quite a few mushrooms. I was working on expanding it and forgot. Ranger finally got a leg back. He went a long time without one. Since he was a young child, hopping on one foot. Did I ever unsuspend? No, I didn't. Just one incredibly yoked leg. Find gold and plaz steel. Alright, I guess I'm gonna. How am I actually doing on hay? A bit. This doesn't even need to be out here. Hey, 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 hey! Climate adjuster. Well, I gotta go fight it? Nah. 
Yeah, Zell. Fucking cold snap, go away. Hello, taco soup lover. Let's go hunt. Where are the boomalopes? Though I still don't have an animal handler, do I? No. Nobody. Not a single fucking person that likes handling animals. Someone to shear my sheeps. Retreat. Oh, baby, that's a few doggies. Woof. You know. <laughs> That's a few. Yeah, I don't want to fuck around and find out. Where's Trevor? Boy, I'm glad I didn't fuck around. Kalstiger, you just got that new leg. Use it. Pump that thing. I try to rescue a couple of those. We'll see. There's no good female, though, is there? Just this one who's real fucked up. Oh no, she's fine. That one's real fucked up. Whatever, I'll rescue it anyway. It's a disease that makes him crazy. But you can fix it, or you used to be able to. We're gonna try. Oh, it's a lot more medicine than I thought. Never mind. You don't need, I don't think you have to have ultra meds, I'm pretty confident. But it's still, uh, eight meds. That's a lot. I've only got 32 right now.
What causes it? The event? Mad animals? Or, uh... Manhunter packs? Manhunter packs used to be incredibly OP because it was a giant food delivery service. And they added that to make it so... Not only was it food delivery, but it also delivered a shitload of, like, potentially unique animals, like Arctic wolves to a non-Arctic area. Uh, especially late game, where you start getting manhunter packs that are, like, 150 animals, and there's, like, a year's worth of food for your colony. So they made up a disease that makes, like, 80% of their corpses no good. just a game balance thing. It was a smart choice because I, for a long time there, it was like legit busted how much it would provide food-wise in the late game. It's like a small rich colony, a couple of manhunter packs would literally be enough food for a decade. Colony's doing horrible. It's on death's door. It's, it could go any minute. I'm sure a fucking hell of a sheep farmer, though. Except that I don't have anyone to shear them. Who gave me ten bucks, George? Thank you for the ten dollars. Not even a message. Thank you, thank you. I might use that to get breakfast tomorrow, if you approve. I haven't gone out to eat all week. I like my breakfast diner. It's not about the just the food. It's just the, you know... Oh, that's not a thick roof there. No. Oh wait, what's today? Tomorrow, Thursday? I don't really like the Thursday waitress. Maybe I'll save it for Friday. <laughs> That's how you know you eat too much at a place. Tomorrow's Friday? Fuck yeah, bud. Saving it for tomorrow. There's one specific waitress that, like, the minute I get in there and sit down, she's like, do you want your usual? And I'm like, yeah, but, like, you could have given me ten minutes to drink a cup of coffee because my food is now going to be ready before my first cup of coffee cools down. And, like, that's just annoying. But I get it. She's just trying to get her get her job done and move on. Sometimes they just put my order in even, without even asking me, which is, you know. Man wants to drink a cup of coffee. What's my order? Uh, lately? It's uh, just scrambled eggs and toast with with the pepper jack cheese. Sometimes I'll add 
hash browns. Sometimes I'll take out the cheese. Sometimes I'll go crazy and get breakfast sandwiches, but rarely. To have a regular? Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. We used to go there and when I smoked and like I'd start by sitting down on the bench outside and lighting a cigarette and they'd bring me coffee out there to the bench. The potatoes, it sounds perfect. Yeah, I'm the, the stupid diet thing, so I, I don't do the potatoes every day or the cheese. I say stupid just because I, I don't want it to be like a thing. But I actually, I enjoy fucking around with my diet. It's fun. Why less, just less calories. It has nothing to do with potatoes. It's just a calorie game. That's all dieting is to me is a calorie game. Yeah, I'm not one of those that's excluding any food. Except beans, because fuck beans. I should put weight back on and start working out instead, but um, I don't know. I haven't yet. I've been working out, but I should put weight back on because I'm too skinny right now to like get anywhere working out. been a real confidence booster though knowing that I can get this skinny that was always my fear of like attempting to put on weight wait did I not name you Cobb I thought I did I could have swore I named you no ham tab So I'm concerned about this siege. I don't have any real mortar shells. I have these toxic mortars. I don't know what they're really going to do to them, though. But I guess fire away. I'm wondering how I, I know the smoke sits for a minute, so I'm wondering if I can just smoke out their construction if it'll just make them raid. Yeah, like that. Now, he, oh, they have that guy's got a fucking gas mask on. They don't all though. don't see how these are going to have any real impact on the troops before. Oh, look at them stick in the ground. That's awesome. Excuse me? What? Oh, they shot one back. Is that all they're shooting at me? It is. Oh no, they got six real mortars up there. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> well, that's a thin roof, huh? It is. What a shot to target that part of my mountain. Hey, uh, Toxin. Which, I don't think... It takes a lot to, like, knock somebody out, I think. And some of their guys are just immune to it. All right, this is unfortunate. you don't sell any real fucking order shells either You're getting awful close there, buddy. Too close, buddy. Sure hope you're all fast enough. What do we got to worry about? Shotgun, toxic grenades. Nothing really, just get out of the way of the toxic grenades. They did leave me some real mortar shells. These are super cute. Do I have to, like, do something to dispose of it? Don't tell me. Oh, they're just throwing those toxic grenades at nothing. Mostly themselves, it appears. I thought that would help. It hurt.
Go get that motherfucker. He's bleeding. Run him down. I'm enjoying it. Um, having no luck with kids, but someday. I'll breed a beautiful army of children. Aw, he's unwavering. How's a hemogen farm work? Just gonna drink his tasty blood. <gasps> don't tell me how it works. I, I gotta remind you. I don't actually ever want to know anything I say. Except when I specifically make it very clear that I want it. Shh. Come on, Trover. Hell yeah. Oh, hell no. Unfortunately, my people just refuse to have children. They just don't like each other, or when they do fuck, even with their fertility turned on, they still won't make a baby. They're really sucking. Yeah, I was thinking about eventually, eventually I'll break down and probably do test two babies, but I really wanted good missionary love with the sole purpose of procreation. Another unwavering loyalty? Fuck you. I have two uh, super soldier kids. Is Cal's Tiger one too? Yeah. But I didn't make them, I captured them. Medical emergency? Oh, probably shouldn't have fucking sucked his blood when he was bleeding out, huh? Might be dangerous. Uh, I'm not 100% because I haven't done it yet, Portal. I assume that there's more genes messing you can do with just two babies, but... Chat's probably going to tell you I'm going to not look at chat for a minute. Because I just want to, you know, play. I understand the questions, though. I get it. Ally in danger... is requesting a favor. Her friend, a 15-year-old organ farm, not organ farmer, but a 15-year-old organ farm named Impaler, recently murdered a human child, favored by an architect. They're asking you to guard Impaler for nine days. Two mech clusters will de deploy nearby. Eight mercenary gunners place under control to feed and house. Nine days of bullshit for one eye or 36 goodwill? And I gotta do with two pods of mechanoids? I don't even wanna. I'm 
don't even care about the reward. At least give me a reward I care about. When you're done tutoring, take that man's clothes. If he's not going to join us, he'll live miserably naked while I suck his blood. His blood. Well, our cooler is quite full for the first time in a long time. I haven't even used my last pod sprout that I planted because I've lost the plant, dude. Speaking of, why haven't you rejoined us yet? You're ready to join us. Oh, that's why. Welcome back, Dark Ritual. That was a long ass time. I need to change your drug settings, I think. Now that you're no longer an addict? Yeah. No drugs, Dark. Not after that whole shit show. We really don't need masterwork shelves. No, there's not leather there. How did you fucking do, even get it there that fast? Are you a good shot? You're a decent shot. Good and learned. Could use a little more learning. Pretty close to his 13th birthday. Real close. The one by one shelf? I should use that more often. Yeah, there's probably some decent places I have for it. I just was fucking around with pathing for some reason. Yeah, yeah. I should use it more. Thanks for reminding me it exists. Now that should be a light.
It'd be really good for construction benches too. Someday I'll get my workshop really, really pumping. We're still so light on colonists. Just keeps making masterwork fucking shelves. You can link the little ones too. How good. How good is that? Year three. It's 5503, so. Sadly lost two to hunting animals and two to bad gameplay from Richard. One of which was our only miner, which really set us back as an underground colony. fucking fence? No. Holy shit, that motherfucker's a 19 and shooting already? need to die. Where'd the other one go? I really hate that I have to do this. It's so slow. Also hate that I have so much faith in them. Too much faith in them. grizzly bear what Ooh, fish thank you for the 15 months you shouldn't do that man Hanging out, having a meal by the old body pile. That should be uh, quite a bit of leather again, right? No, we burn through that shit as quick as we skin it.
I really wish I could shear my sheep. I'm sure there's already new predators on the map here to fucking ruin my life. Oh wait, there's probably more... Yeah, leather than I realized that hasn't been applied yet. Still not a ton though. Near, I think, for the 54 months. It's a long time. No ham tab. No artificial parts. Oh, speaking of, I forgot I can make... Forgot we did this right before I logged off last night. Drill arm. Field hand. storage full? No. It's getting there, though. Well, that's convenient. I'll have to just organize these better. Eh, I can't do it in one swift thing. Okay, I was going to do biofuel, but that meant moving my desk. Where'd my other... Oh, they're in there. Yeah, we got to get these blood packs on ice ASAP. We can't leave them laying around. We don't use them for anything yet, but we might someday. Why don't they stack? We got a lack of mushrooms again. Though I just added a decent hunk. Yeah, they'll go through every once in a while and stack them. But not... Not great. Whoa, y'all, there's a ton of shit on the ground out here. I guess I should tell y'all to stop hunting until that shit gets picked up.
I saw a big weakness here too. Eh, it's just the location of this one turret actually. Let's make component just steel. Wait, am I out of fucking components? What the fuck? When did that happen? What the hell did I make? I got no idea. All right, who needs a field hand? One of you plant guys has got to be missing a few thingies or a hand. Who else is big in the plant game? Dane, how are you doing on thingies? You're missing a thumb. You're a cyborg IRL? Well, it'll make you happy because you're upset you don't have an artificial part. People are wearing tainted gear? That's allowed, huh? Not anymore. And a drill arm for, I think, Ranger? Nope, he's a kidney. Calistigro, do you, do you mind? I know you're missing a whole ass shoulder. You don't really mind, though. I could make you start. I think it counts for the whole arm, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Wait, that's the... No, it doesn't. It won't let me put on the... It's just the arm. I thought there was one that counted for the whole ass shoulder. Uh... Well, I know you're healthy. You mine a lot. And it'll just make you happy. Check out your new hand. Ooh. Good looking hand. Now you don't just have that freak four-fingered no-thumb hand. Where's Ranger? I swear he was, it's just a kidney. He's always, I swear he was missing so many bits. Calistigro, that missing shoulder, all his toes and fingers. We need a couple of kidneys. Are they, are people mad about us siphoning their blood? I don't think so. I think they're cool with it. Yeah, they're cool with it. I think we have uh, a loud organ removal as well. Corpses are still ugly. But yeah, organ use is acceptable. I don't know if that means I can steal him or not. He's pretty happy. How would he feel if I took a kidney from him? Probably shouldn't take his blood and his kidney at the same time. Might kill him. 
but you know. I don't even know what a missing kidney does to you. Just uh, some efficiency. What's the. I don't know. But you can have it back. Blood filtering? I, I, I think that's a slight exaggeration, Dane. Giving up your kidney is a little more than like, eh, don't need it. That's just what kidney thieves want you to believe. Slower immunity gain from illness. That is a big effect, I have noticed. And something I don't like to deal with. Makes you just shit out toxic gas, huh? He's good now. Yeah, but like, good isn't... I don't know, it's not like prime, optimal human condition. Because like, by the same argument, I could say, you don't need your arms, Dane. Right? Are they really necessary? No. Does it make life better having two arms? Absolutely. Can you live without them just fine? Yeah. Can't type? Yeah, you can. They got, they got all kinds of stuff for that. Plus, you got two feet, bro. Which other one of my guys was missing a kidney? Let's just get those kidneys in there while they're nice and fresh. I can take out your ovum, though. Oh, did I not take both their kidneys? This motherfucker's only got one leg. Venom fang jaws. Can I not take out his venom fang fog? Oh yeah, there they are. We don't want him biting anybody. Can't fap two people at the same time. Again, I uh, would like you to look down at your feet. No, he's not a snake. He just had venom thing for self-defense. 
First I take your fangs, then I take your kidney. Not a feet person? You don't have to be a feet person. What are you doing smoking dope? No dope. Dopers. Please, game, can I get plasteel or gold? I feel like Calisteger's, or not Calisteger, Losifos' age just quit. Like he just got stuck. It said 12 for like a, a whole season. And at 162 out of 162 for like a whole season. Cleaned up that dude's vomit real good though. There's still shit we haven't cleaned up. Come on people. I should make an actual classroom. I hate room rooms like that. They take up weird space. I never planned to leave this this like this over here. I don't think I've ever seen anyone play with these decorations. They're just for babies. Around your child play areas. I don't know what you're on about. Never gonna have kids, so what's the matter? Stupid game. Look how fast you drill because of your good arm. You're missing a ring finger? A left ring finger? Oh, I don't have a drill arm for you. They, they get lessons, learn about how to kill and skin and cook an animal. It's important. Every kid should know. Guppy was learning that shit at the age of four, and look at him, he's fine. Minus that whole so psychopath thing, but like, that happens. Life's hard.
have a psychotic break and fucking murder their mom during breastfeeding. I realize I don't need to have that much hay outside at all times. It just uh, lets it go bad faster. Oh, solar flare. How can I accomplish anything without glorious power? Delicious warg meat. More warg meat. There's more women now? Yeah, it's 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 been pretty female heavy. There's just no men to make love to them. And they have zero interest in one another. Except those that already fuck, and even that doesn't seem that successful. We need to have like more rituals. Spend more time together. I don't know. Get to know one another. Really work on having them recreate together. Nice guinea pig fur tail. <laughs> I hope it's a guinea pig tail. Like a nice little rat tail hanging off the back of your hat. They don't have tails at all? Oh, I assume they had like little nubbin tails. Uh, yeah, they're less likely to fuck each other when they're not the same race. But it can still happen. I think it, it acts like it can still happen. Don't tell me. Shh. I can fucking hear your, all, all of your fingers simultaneously cl clacking every time I say something like that. bug me forever that these walls don't match. Oh no, I've just made this there though. It's fine. I just moved where the walls don't match down a little bit, I guess. much stone.
I don't know what I'm reading there. Hey, Ronnie. Ron Fuck if I know what that is. Thanks. Appreciate it. Mwah. did give you kids. Well, not you specifically, necessarily. want some I just want some quality bonding time with the boys you know maybe a little forced recreation in the evening is that too late I don't know what time that is it's like six no it's fine uh they're fast as fuck I don't know So I can make a vampire. The, o the only option is to accept the quest to fight them. Uh, I, that's not accurate, I rate. They don't continue to age beyond uh, 13 as with the increased speed, I don't think. Because I've had like a 14 year old for like, a, no, she's 15 now, but I, I, and Guppy is, yeah, still 13. So they stopped that at 13. You think it says 18? Definitely not 400%, all the way to 18. I have like multiple teenagers that have not aged at, I've three years, and they were never a child in my playthrough. I don't think anyway. The, they haven't seemed to age at a rapid rate. The, the children do. They're 400%. But I believe they're technically... I mean, they become full-grown at 13. I'm pretty sure this, car this kid is actually busted. Because it's been like a whole season now, and he's just been stuck at 12 and growth tier 162 out of 162. A perma-child? I just don't know if I want to deal with a vampire. I mean, I guess I got guys I'm sucking blood out of, but... Fuck it, let's see it, huh? Other bitches, I have to go fight them. And I... They look scary. Oh, they're... They're hostile. Yeah, I maybe should save and reload. Dude's name is Deadlift. Which one's the leader? Does it matter which one I get? Oh yeah, I ha there's only one that's actually... Assault begins. I didn't realize I was they were going to assault me.
Oh fuck, he's gonna burn to death. I just wanted, I forgot they're super weak to fire. Just wanted to slow his ass down. Let's follow that guy, Dane. I think he's going to need one more hit, unfortunately, before he gets off the map. That'll do, pig. No survivors. I don't think we did. No. No, we didn't. Now, I don't know how... Hmm. ugly undergrounder male. Good. I don't feel like the quest really Ship is crashing, fight him and his minions. If you capture the master, you can force him to join your colonists. Oh, okay. Maybe when he wakes up. I don't know who I would turn into a vampire. Maybe one of our children. We also got a regular prisoner out of the deal. Oh, and he's got like zero resistance. That's tight. Once we just get him out of his cult, we're good to go.
He's ugly, though, so unfortunately, he probably won't get a lot of respect from the ladies. Oh, he likes animals. We need that. It's always steel, man. But we can try to beautify him, try to counter his ugly. Luckily, I've been stockpiling a little blood. Or I had been. Well, I got it somewhere. I just can't see it. I haven't played with Gene stuff. I don't really know much about it yet. Jade. Come on, guys. You did, Mellet, yes. But you're frozen here, hopefully to be returned someday. Though the power's gone out a lot of times since I froze you, so you might be rotten by now, but... No, you just got shot to death. I'm bringing you back regardless, though. Someday, somehow. It's pretty big. As the old childish saying goes, clippity clapped. Uh, it's time for this to go. Hope that didn't just deconstruct my power line. Yo, Chum, thank you for the 20 bucks. Got some tax money back. In November? Damn. Appreciate it. We're doing all right. We had a Halloween party at school today. Nobody knew who or what her costume was, which was less a problem with her costume and more a problem with our parenting. <clears throat> she was Max from Stranger Things, and her bestie was 11, but not a lot of kids watching Stranger Things. <laughs> I mean, most of those parents won't let their kids have red dye, let alone watch Horde. Sorry, <laughs> this is a bad joke. Where the fuck is Hay? Can you, I guess you can't do it out of Hay? Thought you could. Why wouldn't you be able to? Why can I do it out of weed leaves and die? Up in the air so she can do the Chrissy crumble. <laughs> That's sweet. 
respect that. No, I could turn the hay into kibble, though. And lose less meat in the long run, probably. Or, as soon as I build it, boomalopes finally show up. But I don't have an animal tamer. Not yet. I did get my power line. I don't know how to make you... Bite somebody. Don't tell me, chat. Maybe I have to enslave him. My little vampire slave. That's at least one of your fetishes. some peanut butter on their neck and let the dogs lick it off. Ah, classic. No, I hate mechanoid clusters. That's pretty convenient to kill, I think. I at least can kill the mortar in a safe enough way. Centipede blaster. I'm pretty sure I can sneak in there and get the auto mortar. Or sneak around the top and get the auto mortar. It does wake everything up. I, I'll just wait a minute and deal with it. In a, I got five days before the mortar even wakes up. Might just get lucky and some people run in there. I really don't understand why this kid won't age. He's just hard stuck, I guess. He's just been stuck at 162 out of 162 for like three weeks.
Oh, there's a door there too. Sorry, door's closed. You'll have to go around. You'll have to go around. Sorry, door's closed. Oh, they're going to miss it, aren't they? Why isn't it activating? Huh, I really thought it would. fast Yeah, give me those pennies. Prestige Recon Helmet. Low shield packs are super good. Incompetent cook, who did it? Excuse me. Oh, fuck, I trapped this kid outside.
How did you just get out there? Fuck it. You know what? Yeah, nope. This will solve it. I'm sure there is voice. I'm going to give it a minute and make sure that it's bugged before I... Where are you with this wall before these motherfuckers leave out that door? Thank you. Curious to see if he hits his growth here, too. Because they were both prisoners from the same time, I'm pretty sure. Luck caravan. You know they might just make it. Nope. They'd be battling. They're certainly not strong enough. up chum most importantly dude handles animals don't cook you can hunt I'm fine with you not dealing with plants you're gonna have a lot of animal business on your plate Excuses? Excuses moi? Ah, oh, shit. I need you to knock him out real quick. Should be easy. He's got one kidney and one leg. Just push him over.
That motherfucker is gonna smoke my watermill. It's fine, I can replace it. Easier than people. Oh yeah, they can fight. I can't remember what I'm doing here. Oh yeah. My poor water mills. Oh, you're healthy. Get up here. Feel like a bullet just flew at me. They, they are. Fucker just shot me in the heart. Can we get around on this now? Because that's going to make another centipede. Soon. And I really don't want to deal with another centipede. Is Flavius and Dole going to get in there with me? We actually have to take the long... Oh, no. We have to take the long way around. Oh, wait. Flavius is in there. Oh, fuck. That thing sees like that?
I'm kind of afraid that's going to make a big ass hole so it can see me. Sight lines are weird here, man. Why aren't they shooting Dole who's standing there behind a fucking tree? He adulted. He still looks tiny. I don't want you to be intellectual. I never did. You're just gonna suck. gonna turn you into a brawling floor sweeper oh I can give you mining mining's useful punch those rocks right into oblivion and I guess I might as well passionate about intellectual though I think you'll never do it or medical though I think you'll also never do it so let's just do that I guess because why not boom you're naked Fuck, Dane, you should learn to dodge. Smoked it.
All right. Done. Should probably let you two go home. They do have some portable stuff like that now, I think. Still a lot I gotta look at. But I'm pretty sure I saw something related to it. Uh, yeah, foam pop packs. They seem very good, actually. I don't have any fucking chem fuel yet. range weapon. Oh, I forgot I made you a brawler. I thought I brought back some cool melee weapons earlier. I know I did. It's just tough to find things. The answer is build a shelf. Actually, I hate that. Travelers hope for aid. You mean to become my prisoners? 39 medicine? You gotta be joking. Man, I could use just like, oh, there's some kids in here too. Oh. Sammy's looking breedable. Honestly, decent stats and breedable. I think we want Sammy. You hate breedable? It's a good quality, honestly. Shouldn't hate it. Have my sheep gotten sheared? The new guy hasn't had any time, I don't think.
get some turrets up and running before I... I'm assuming they all have, yeah, melee weapons. New research? No, I'm not even researching. I'm pretty much done there. I went deep into research early with double research benches and my multi-analyzer, so... Are you going to build the bridge before you water mill? Calistigro. Your 10-year-old growth moment is here. Oof. I'll give you animals. I'll give you melee. Unfortunately, you didn't hit the one you had. And then, of course, mining. Can't get enough mining. Very neurotic. Careful shooter. Kind. Make him easier to breed. Just saying. If they can even breed. Shh. Don't say anything. I feel like I gotta stay on theme with careful shooter. What do you have now currently? Can I see your... Yeah, iron world. Oh, though, wait a minute. Maybe I go very neurotic. Because you're iron willed. You still end up positive mental break, but just gain a 40% work speed. Yeah, that's pretty tight. And if I'm doing that, maybe I cancel out the passionate melee and give him something more useful like crafting. Would that have been very neurotic? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I definitely want you to start. You can stop sweeping floors exclusively. Yeah. Oh, you can do construction now. Dude, that's too many jobs. Forgot you had construction. No, he's not an adult yet. He doesn't need go do's yet. Don't tell me. My stupid vampire, though. He's just going to live here. Ah, that's it. That's it. Simple. Honestly. Too simple for my big brain. That's the issue. Ah, no, very bad.
Jesus Christ, woman, hurry. Imagine what's happening to my beautiful corpses I've been storing in there. Okay. Now you're also a nudist. Chum, you're new. You gotta earn your keep by arresting Sammy here and trying not to immediately get shot. There's a few children in here. One's a pig kid. Aw, cute. Well, unfortunately, the rest just went and died. She's just a good breeding female. I can't say no to that. It looked like you were going to take him blood and then walked away with it. That was weird. Wait, he's eating regular ass food? There you go. Gave up? What? You went from fucking no mental break to just, I'm leaving, see ya. Here's my fucking brand new adult child. Wow. I've never had one just leave that fast. <laughs> okay. Rom Springer or whatever. Gone. Never had one just fucking dip like that. That's my luck. Sorry, they weren't very good. They were, uh, what well, we got them on accident trying to arrest Calistigro. Adulting was too much, that's fair, honestly. Oh no. All right, I gotta make somebody a vampire. I don't know all the negative sides of it, so I'll probably just do somebody mediocre who fights, like maybe Jolts here. Yeah, let's try Jolts, that seems fine. Must be downed. Okay. I also don't know how it interacts with her being an imp, so that'll be interesting. She's weak to fire. 
Oh, he's fighting back. He ain't going down like a baby, huh? Jolts go down? Yes. God damn it. Maybe Dark Ritual. Seems kind of scary, but... He's really living up to his name there and lifting. Maybe deadlift will stay. Don't put him in his fucking bed. <sighs> God damn it. No. Leave him down. stay an imp at all. I think. Are these are what's... I don't know. We'll see. These were your genes. shock for four days. Finally. Can I get to it? Fuck yes. Now I can just let this guy go, right? I don't need him anymore. Do they still have good lungs and kidneys? Apparently!
stick a vampire kidney in somebody? It does they have to bite? It's just putting in their kidney. It's fine. I already replaced our missing kidneys earlier off my blood farm, boys. Steel. I need gold though. He's recovered from stealing his kidney. Let's get us a lung. So becoming a vampire didn't fix your missing bits or anything like that yet. 2.1 years. The process doesn't have any direct health effects. However, extracting their genes while they're regrowing will kill them. Wait a minute. One of the fucking Empire's troopers' daughters is Deadlift is Deadlift's daughter? What? But she's just a regular ass person. Can I sell it? Can I? I could probably give them away. I think. I don't ever fuck with the royal tribute. I haven't done it since like way back. Did I get his lung? Now I did. Give him a pissed off vampire? Oh. She'll ransom someone back to her own faction, but isn't willing to sell someone to a different faction. But what about... Nope, I can't give her a gift either, huh? So I guess I'll just release you now. Got everything I wanted out of you. Made somebody into a vampire, a kidney, and a liver, lung. And then I'm going to let you go, and I'm sure that's not going to start off your fucking... epic... revenge plot story. Yeah, they tend to not like it when prisoners die. I'm wondering if these guys are going to wear these or not. He's deathless so he can't die? 
I mean, I don't know enough about him, to be fair. Oh, he's gone. I should read a little more about them. How does it really... Pretty. Low sleep. Aggressive. Fire fucking murders them. Unusually sensitive to sunlight. Wow, yeah, they suck in the sun. Do you need to go outside? No. Except to fight. Can heal old wounds and chronic illness like bald back. Or like bad back. <laughs> Not bald though, that's ridiculous. As long as their brain remains intact, so they can be killed. Or the way it makes sound. Shut up. Look at the size of that fire foam on their back. I didn't expect it to be so massive. Wait, did I uninstall those mortars earlier? Yeah, they're just chilling here on the ground, though. Yeah, it's definitely hard to look at, to look through, but can they not get to that to mine, actually? Or are they just, yeah, it must be it. Ooh. Holy pregnant sheep, Batman. Seven males. All right, I can't type number. Oh, it's because it's minus. Fifth, thank you for the five gift subs. Mwah. I need gold. Do they have gold? They do. Gold's expensive.
Lungs and kidneys sell pretty good. I'm tempted to sell them. Still in bed, huh? 11 more hours on your coma. Till our vampire's up and running around. More importantly, anyone want to fuck yet? Just a fuck free colony. They just don't like each other. I've uh, kidnapped and acquired children multiple times from other ways, but no, I had a pregnancy and a playthrough I lost. But I have not made a damn baby yet. Oh, they, these two have been fucking for years, but she's just got shitty old age eggs that don't make baby. I blame her. It could be Trevor, but let's be real. It's more likely... If we're going off, like, realism... You can give kids drill arms. No, we have many females, just not the right races and zero respect for one another. I just got like a really primo breeding female. Well, she's a little old, but I'm hoping she's going to get right to the breeding. Got to get her recruited first, though. She's 30, so that's probably a little old by video game pregnancy logic. Don't tell me. I know somebody already said they were looking it up. I'll fight you all to the death. way. I guess I'll do it like that and then I'll just switch these to building materials.
I'm an awful matchmaker? I didn't shoot. They came married. I had nothing to do with it. The colony started with those two together. Nice try, though. I can't believe that motherfucker just wandered off instantly. I'm leaving. See ya. I've made zero babies. But I can't... If I could get in here and fuck, man, there'd be babies everywhere. That's the problem. I'm not in the game. You can just bite motherfuckers, huh? And you can long jump? You still sleep, though? Where's the death? Oh, it's a nice little casket. You just have one of those. It's got components in it. We'll just keep it in your room. That's not going to be your room forever. Oh my god, what? There's so much blood shit. <laughs> this device leaves a death ruster in a hemogen amplified state, so they gain more hemogen from any hemogen source using a gland probe and blood analyzer. It links with a death resting person, simulating hemogen glands into a more active state. It must be connected to a casket to function. Okay, so the casket room needs to be crazy. Yeah, he needs his own little uh, cool death rest tomb. Maybe back here in the caves. Like we really need to suck more blood out of our prisoners. Real lack of blood suckage. There you go, suck that blood. And what have the kid watch while we suck blood from our prisoners that we also organ farmed. Cause you know, lessons. Yeah, he left it on the ground. It's not his job, it's his job to suck it, not his job to put it away. Oh no, that was a doctor. See, these prisoners were using as a blood farm. The vampire doesn't drink straight from the vein. He could, he's just not. Straight from the vein scares people. I don't need to move. They seem to be pretty chill with... Uh...
Oh, this guy. Yeah, they don't even seem to give a shit that you take their blood. This guy needs some fucking psychite, though. Really need to get crack a lacking on drug making here. We keep them high on drugs and steal their blood and organs. It's cool. I wonder if you could turn them into a vampire and they'd regrow their organs and you could organ farm off them. Don't tell me. But then you couldn't suck their blood because the blood's no good. Trevor and Warkana broke up. Fucking gay, man. It's been forever. No babies. They're worthless anyway. Trevor just got sick of throwing all that good spunk away. Good thing they're attacking me. Wait, are they actually attacking? Oh, they're gonna breach my walls. They're attacking at night so my vampire can play. That is not the breach method I would like you to take, <laughs> said Workana. Ooh, a prisoner. Two prisoners? Three prisoners? Skyline, you better hustle. Oh, Skyline. All right, I'm going to get dumb for a second here. Oh, where the fuck did he go?
Well, you can't feed on anyone who would actively resist. Wait, what did it do? You still have fire spew for now, huh? Well, that motherfucker has an axe. Run away. Why is he pursuing you? <laughs> uh. Well, that was ineffective, but fun. I'm mad that you can't feed off. I wanted to feed off the guy while he ran away. It seemed like the perfect time to feed. Yeah, it's using his blood meter, but it's fine. I can just drink more blood. Just drink more. Shit's easier to get than milk. Aw, oh, new prisoner who won't be recruited? Welcome to the blood farm. All right, well, we won't suck his blood while he's literally bleeding out. Probably a bad idea. wasteful to use fancy medicine on a vampire. Also, I need to just switch the... Oh. to push up and conquer more buttholes here real soon. That's what Trevor said when he dumped Orcana. Climb in that bed, Trevor. You don't fuck around. The old nudist grandma, Aunt Skyline. She's still too old to baby, I think. And I have no idea how that will even work. Shut up. Don't tell me. I love the, the interspecies erotica, though. You just couldn't take it anymore, dude. After three years of staring at the gray skins meat flaps, you had to... You had to go for it.
I like the work Hannah just moved over a bedroom. God, I hope you knocked up Skyline. Plus, Skyline's like a our queen or whatever. Not there yet, but someday queen. So, Trevor, you really shopped up on this one. Congrats on that. They have their own throne and shit. I don't know how I continue to do this, but take the fucking... I take a battery out to change it, and then somehow just put the same dead battery back in. Maybe I'd already changed the battery, but forgot? I don't even know, dude. My batteries are getting weak. Anyone know where my slippers are? Trevor, you little whore, you. You probably know where my slippers are. Is that why my ass is sore? Bye, chat. Just leaving. I need to start launching garbage at people. It's that time of the game. Which means I also need to start stripping more corpses. Ooh, I could set up, actually. Set up my own little dump zone just for that shit, huh? Gonna need all that tattered apparel. I got shit to ship. Come on, Calisty girl. You got one arm and a one in mining, but you're very neurotic. Go faster. I think that one arm thing is really bringing him down. He can't get a drill arm. He's missing his entire shoulder. Again, don't tell me, but I think it'll be really funny if his fucking bionic arm just pops off when he reaches adulthood, like their clothes do.
Are you healed enough that I can start taking your blood? You got good look, good organs to take too. I don't know if that'll be enough hay to get our sheep through the winter. A child-sized bionic arm. You know, I managed to just click the exact same tile. It's already a mess, huh? Works good enough for what it is. don't need these shelves to be masterwork, but thanks. I think that should do what I want. And just put tainted and bio-coated apparel there. You started a social fight with a vampire? Just wanted to see how tough you were, eh, Ranger? Tough enough. Kicking that vampire's ass. There's two shelves left. Could you please come fix them or finish them? Whatever. Thank you. Hideous environment, it really is. You're not wrong. Who's supposed to be sweeping? Oh, my, my vampire? It's the prettiest janitor. The old vampire janitor. I'm pretty sure bionic arms have shoulders with them. We're still not making... Oh no, Hamtab was working on one? But 
The real question, though, is can she uh, romance everybody? Nope. Doesn't want to romance nobody. Yeah, Sammy. Hurry up and get recruited before your eggs go bad. You're already 30. I didn't realize how dirty it was right there. It didn't look like there was any dirt. Maybe my monitor's just so dirty I can't see it. What else do you do, Rainbow Teapot? Besides art, construct. I might have you stop arting because I don't have that much stone. for Calistigro. Yeah, right shoulder. Nope, wrong shoulder. Left shoulder. Where's that young boy at? He was, it says he's sleeping. Oh, there he is. Hey, Anonymous, thank you for getting coffee. Appreciate that a ton. I hope you enjoy. We're doing a Madrina's thing tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to play. Is there any new fun multiplayer games, Chad? Now you'll be so much more efficient. Too bad your right hand... Oh, you know what? That's the hand that gets a drill arm. It's dark and darker. A grand edifice. That's really big. It's a ton of gold, though. Oh, is that tomorrow? That would be perfect, Noel. Now Calisigro's ready to work. Just more machine than man. Why is your environment ugly? It's got a 1.6 beauty. It's not ugly. It might not be gorgeous or anything like that, but it's fine. The corpse pile full. don't think I have enough to fill a pod. Maybe I have more than I realize. No, I don't have that much. And those are flak vests, which I should be tearing apart into steel. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's nowhere near enough. Guinea pig fur pants? No, those are too fancy. dead bodies of an arctic wolf Not sending children corpses because I already clicked accept. I need a friend though, so I can get the trading going. I've like pretty. Are you supposed to be a friend? No, there's three there. how many sheep I had. I mean, it has value. I don't know why they wouldn't. But if it has value, I don't think corpses... Maybe corpses helped. Definitely value based though before. You could see around there that those corpses had zero value. Seriously, the 10% chance already fail and already. Strongest 10% chance ever. they would pick up those corpses without having to do that. Watch out, that little one's on fire too. See, the thing is, if I take this one butthole, why stop there? Why not take all buttholes? Because then the defense is awkward. Not really. Yeah, that one's we That one's hard to get to. Plus, it's a polluted butthole. <gasps> Nobody likes a dirty, polluted butthole. 
Kel Seeger, you realize it's weird to lay in a dead man's vomit, right? Or is that your own vomit next to a dead man? Who knows? No, I don't have a mech boy. Excuse me, I suspended the work. What are you doing? That is a spoiler though, right, Frosty? You get that, huh? <laughs> I wish I could just delete things from my brain hole. No, the, what you said already is a spoiler. Whether you realize it, because I'm not an idiot. So, like, the fact that it took you time to figure out how to acquire one means I have to do something outside of the norm. That, like, you, you, you already implied that through your messages. Without, like, without taking two seconds to think, hey, maybe he's not completely fucking dumb and brain dead and like can read between the lines to process that there is more you have to do than just acquire one naturally. <clears throat> it's uh it's the like hey I'm not gonna tell you what you're doing wrong but because I don't want to spoil it but it, it is 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 a spoiler. Because if someone doesn't realize they're doing something wrong, then they now start looking for alternate methods to success. It's loaded already. Good job, team. Don't don't pile on. I I, I I really do my best to not like be too upset by accidental stuff like that because it's communicating about the game, being excited about the game. It's hard not to be a little bit, but uh, yeah, it is it is a very hard line to walk. But I know those of you I pay enough attention to my chat, even if I don't react to. I know which of you are uh, a lot more RimWorld savvy and excited to talk about it than others. <laughs> I guess I can clear out this list of shit, huh? Have we still not found fucking... Oh, I did find... I am getting plasteel. I need gold. I don't even know if gold comes from these. I think it does. I bought a bunch of gold, though. Or a bit. What's this tiny one? Silver. Sil Jade. Uranium.
Yeah, now that I'm finally set up to ship, I can't wait to ship toxic waste to people's homes. The minute I saw toxic waste, I was excited to just put it in a transport pod and launch it towards my enemies. The perfect pact. Here comes the long winner. We don't have much meat left. And not a ton of hay. I'm going to have to call some sheep. Fuck it. Kill them all. Did that convert? Not what oh, it did. I just didn't switch him like a dumbass. I'm playing them all together. I would assume they'd all work independently as well. They did. They update the game, the base game, without the DLCs to add most of the necessary functionality. Uh, so I think you could play any amount of DLCs. I don't see why not, but not, don't quote me on that. Oh, I have been turning a bunch of meat into kibble, which I turn into biofuel to a... Eh? Oh, I know I can have Max Stark. See, you missed his point too, but... Uh... But yeah, I know I can have mechs. It's how you acquire the man that can have mechs that I am not 100% on yet. And I'll figure it out, or I won't. And either way, I'll be happy. But you can't do anything with mechs unless you have a specific mech dude. Suck his blood. Harvest his kidney. Actually, that might slow down. We'll wait. That might slow down his blood production for harvest. I doubt it, but maybe. I doubt the game's quite that smart. I think it's just doing it on a timer, not actually based on their... Blood. Whenever it can be done without killing them. So maybe it is. Oh, that sucks, lol. Sorry to hear that. The hunted cows. Ten cows for 25 days. Deathbringer sword. But I gotta deal with two... St if it was raids of human beings, I'd take your stupid cows. I don't want to fight mechs. They're no good to me. What are you doing to that sheep, Callus Girl? It's gonna take you a while to finish. Whatever it is.
Now I'm a sheep farmer. I did not expect sheep to breed that fast. Holy shit. I have no adult males either. They've just in a, they're in a constant state of pregnant since I acquired the first three. There's two females and a male, and they were just all instantly pregnant. Even the male was like, hi, I have a baby too. Just got this feeling I missed a smooth I missed a smooth stone somewhere. I just had a feeling. possibly be wrong with you. No artificial part. Oh, you need lungs, actually. I don't think lungs are directional. Fuck it, let Guppy do it. What's the worst thing that happens? It won't make you happy on the bionic bits part, but I feel like getting rid of your bad asthma is still got to be pretty cool for you. a double lung transplant. This is my home, Cougar. Gone. It's been a couple, like a year at least. It's been a while. There it is. Tell me I can reach it. Fuck. I've been I've, uh, quite a bit more vigilant about killing my predators, especially when I'm out hunting. Weird. Yeah, they're not trapped, but it is weird that they are holed up there. Oh boy. Are we about to do lung? We did it already. Double lung. Just like that. No, there's, they can walk in the same way he just did. They don't need a door. I kind of want to aggro him, but I'm afraid. Or just move him outside, I guess.
<laughs> I got him. Fill that up quick, huh? Oh, you know what? I've been wanting to do this one for a while anyway. That's not on a higher tier than this, so... Perfect pack. You can't even convert them, huh? No. Stone. They always prison. They 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 are really good at prison breaking at the worst times. No one's around, bro. You can't just let them walk by. Because now he's got a fucking machine gun. And incredibly smooth moves. Skyline, you didn't even get hit. What a guy. Not much not much more dangerous of moves or the the you know, he's dangerous. You hear me. Can we just knock people out already? Okay. They're going he's going to pick up the machine gun. Remember when I moved the weapons to the other side of the base so that these prisoners wouldn't get the weapons and now they're over here? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, when the guy got the grenades and blew up our chess table. Did he put it in the spot close to the room? Of course. They like to live dangerously. What fun is life if you don't? I don't think there's any reason we'll need to walk back into that room. Eesh. It's a lot of flu.
Ooh. Which one do we want? 21 resistance? That's that's our target. You like that noise because I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted Sammy for the sex. Speaking of sex. Trevor, you fucking Skyline or what? <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't see no got some love in there. So like when you're gonna fart on stream, you mute your mic and you assume like a very calm demeanor and a <laughs> a focused look. But sometimes you just fart for like four minutes and then you're just sitting there quietly, like you can't move, you can't, you know, you're in this position where you've trapped yourself in a, an eternal fart and this awkward. I'm very focused, but I can't take my brain off the fart to do anything else to make it look like I'm not just <laughs> having a stroke. That just happened a minute ago. Just a really long <laughs> Richard does nothing. I'm telling you, dude, my body and fiber are just Really not the most friendly pair. Well, I don't expect it to be a never-ending fart. That's the problem. And if I knew it was going to be like a 45-second fart, I would have uh, assumed a better position. I thought it was just going to be a real quick tutor, and I could keep playing, keep going. But then I'm just sitting here... Leaking like a gas main. I was just about to make a fucking hospital, too. Am I afraid if I talk, talk during the fart, I'll shit? No, I'm just like, I don't want you to hear the farts, so I have to be muted. This thing was fucking... I mean, it probably sounds like Skyline running in the wind. Live, you fool. You don't need any of those parts to survive a flu. Oh, you're going to feed that guy our kibble. All right. I know that you're not doing well with your flu right now, but I can't turn down this instant recruit. Yeah, did you see that, Calistigo? You learned from that, right? That's how to do it. Uh, you shall be fifth. The pessimistic, psychically dull jogger that likes to cook, construct, and punch shit. Um, 
I definitely am not opposed to another construction worker. I don't know how I feel about the cooking, though. Yeah, why not? Guppy... Yeah, yeah, because if I could retire Guppy from cooking, I'd be cool with it. Equip that LMG, since I know you like it so much. Uh, a 32-year-old male? You wouldn't happen to be in love with somebody already. Damn it. Ooh, there she is. A real good breeder. your time again, Minnie. Got that high social skill, so everyone's gonna love her. Real good warden type. Do do arts and crafts. Sammy, are you wait, not you're not Sammy anymore, you're Minnie now. Are you ready to fuck somebody? No, you don't like anybody yet. We'll work on that. I don't remember what you're Oh, and you have a great memory, but you're incapable of doing anything intelligent or cleaning. Is that still you? the new recruits party I agree except EAT Trevor and Skyline fucked yet? They did fuck! An old tumble between the sheets. Interspecies erotica. No, no, man. You had like three fifty percent chances fail. But don't worry, you've been in this freezer just in case I can bring you back for fucking. You're probably rotten by now, but wow, if it's starting a fight with a vampire and getting your ass kicked. Welcome to the colony, bitch. Why are people upset? Why? What? What's, what's with the, more canna? You're upset? Oh, the divorce. We're out of food. 
How did we let this happen? Because Guppy's got the flu. And so does Workana. And now Fifth's unconscious. I know you're sick, Guppy, but just butcher a couple of muffalos, would you? Not hamsters. Those don't have a lot of meat in them. Not rabbits. Really, you guys just going to let that motherfucker lay there forever, eh? Oh, that's why. Someone done stole his bed. I thought Fifth started another fight. No, it's Rainbow Teapot and Dark Ritual. Dude, that vampire gets into a lot of fights, huh? Wait, no, that's not the vampire. Dark Ritual just sounds like a vampire. Quick check, make sure everyone's surviving the flu. You're kicking its ass, no ham tad. Guppy's still struggling the worst. Still got food problems here. Let's make you forget about that divorce. I'd rather him get up once in a while and do activities to keep themselves from going crazy than lose their mind to go on a fucking mental breakdown when they're sick and die. One more and then you gotta get back to bed just to make sure you get through this clear. Dude, my miners are impressive now. Mm. 
Not so much Jolt's Prime. Just a cleaning zone mod, that's it. Ugh. Oh, they're attacking, though. I'm going to try to avoid my turret fields. Holy shotgun daddies. Some of you aren't going to do good in this cold because you're naked. Where'd they go? Anybody see them? Oh, they're, they're literally right there. <coughs> Excuse me? What is this accomplishing? All right, let me know when you're, like, actually doing something. I'll come back. Dude's just path in a fucking straight line. This was one of the meanest additions to mechs who are already so annoying. They're going to go through this way, aren't they? Those cute little fuckers in their shotguns. One left, no two. And then the old thump daddy. Kill him. Hurry up. This guy's digging a hell of a hole here. I don't know the range on their gun. Oh, I can see it. He's coming. Gonna have some mental breaks over that, but...
just get up from your flu treatment to go suck a dude's blood? I'm seeing a lack of food again. Yeah, no acceptable food. doctor that's not sick yeah the other the other humanoids flee when you kill half their guys but they'll keep digging too I hope they get pregnant tonight's the night I'm feeling it Speaking of, oh my god, I forgot. Chat didn't yell at me because they don't backseat. Good job, chat. I didn't up Skyline's chance. She's got to fucking really let that semen soak. Oh, I've known that was there. I just have no luck with birth. Work Hannah and Trevor have been fucking for three years and have a single one. It's an age thing, I'm sure. How's everyone doing with the flu now? Before it's too late. Oh, no ham tabs over that shit. Moving on. Pig power. Guppy's okay. Orcana's fine. She doesn't even need to worry about it anymore. Seems good. We got a prisoner with it too. He's over it. Wow, even the dude with one kidney got it. I didn't even know he had it. Oof. Didn't need that. Why is there a dead rabbit in someone's room? Because we were out of food, so they were probably feeding it to him. We're out of food again. Sorry, work, Hannah. I know.
I love the random rhinos that show up in the middle. Oh. <clears throat> Said you don't see me. Getting a little lesson in Calistigro before you're a grown ass man. The ripe old age of 13. How's the fuck button looking? That there. Ooh. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's Minnie. She's going to be a good breeding female. You want to get in it with Fifth, but he's a demon boy. I mean, I'm not opposed. Dane. Dane's not a bad suitor. I think we give you guys a little more time to brew that love, that romance. Jolts wants chum at a 10% chance. That's not terrible. Chum would prefer Mini or Orkana, but... Now, what happens here if I just go... They usually bitch about having someone in their bed, but, like... Minnie's the good breeder. Put Minnie in this bed with... Oh, I bet that's why she's fallen for fifth. All that extra time they spend together in bed. <laughs> Separate beds, but a shared room. Now, with Dane, the treehouse builder... If I just made y'all sleep together, what's your how's your feeling opinion? Are your feeling your opinion on that? Sharing a bed. I have to share a bed with someone I don't particularly want to. But maybe if you share the bed long enough, you'll want to. That's what I'm thinking. And then we had fifth wanted, or well, someone wanted to be with fifth. It was. No, fifth. Uh, I can't remember now. Damn it. Jolts, the, the vampire. So same deal. Maybe I just make them spend a little more time together, force a little sleepy sleep on them, and see if they get makes them mad. Mini, stay off the drugs. You're going to fuck up your good breeding. I'm gonna OD. Watch out, young Calistigro. Where's the boom rat? Headed right for you. You missed. Dane, will you help the kid out? He's got a boom rat on him. Dane, you're not helping.
There it is. Yeah, after he got scratched. Tell him I don't want you to cook. I do want Fifth to start cooking right now. Damn it, woman. When you got yourself addicted to the psychite. That's why I don't like having drugs around. You get a bad psychic drone, and the next thing you know, you got drug addicts. Or a second stove makes sense? Uh, I don't think it's necessarily about size, just do you have enough workers to justify it? Seeing as currently no one's using the stove. Power goes out right as winter begins. Nice timing. I like how Warcana stays down there and pretends like that was not an accident. Do that on purpose. I want to be here. I might be short on neural superchargers now, actually. It's the first time I've seen them all in use. Yeah, you can do that. You can also just set the skill level to use it often. cooking skill. And you can go the other way too, like with your, if you want to make somebody level cooking off butchering. Uh, oh wait, I don't actually want to do that because it resets their progress. Or off like making psych IT or something that's not, I usually do similar.
How much plasteel's left there? Oh, a bit. Wow. So you've almost sucked that steel hole dry. Real whiner, that's what you are. Okay, so let's check my my pairs here. Mini, you're a drug addict now. I'm so mad at you over that. I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna make you do drugs. I don't think every five days will keep your drug addiction set. Oh, wait, I can't. Well, we'll try it. 2% addicted? 2% uh, through her addiction, as in getting over it. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No. Better than forcing her to do drugs. Just let her. Just let her have at it. You want a drug? Drug. It was 50% the minute she got addicted, yeah. I could have locked her up right then and there and got over it probably faster, but... Just drug socially. It's cool. Whatever. Have at it. Except... Don't do Ambrosia. Don't do Yayo. Yeah, don't do any other drugs you're not addicted to. Oh, that was just do them if you're addicted, actually. Oh, all of a sudden it's a 40% chance on Dane. That time together in their bed, helping. Or maybe just sheer chance. Go for it. That's practically a 50-50. That was unsuccessful. Go back for her. She wanted it, and you want it too. All right, well, now you guys hate each other. Now you're still decent friends. What about you two? Is it a similar situation? Not as, not as hot. Nobody likes no ham tab. Kana's not with anyone right now, right? I gotta double check that. I don't think she is. No. Trevor moved on where Kana didn't. Did it say attempted to court by commenting your facial hair? Nice. Dude knows what he likes. Chick with a thick stash. There's no hay in there. That's not going to be enough hay to get us through the winter. We'll deal with that bridge crossing when we got a crosser. Somebody teach Cal Stegro immediately. Fucking Max, dude. A toxic spewer.
Rose is about to be recruited anyway, so I really don't want to waste hers on that. Uh, let's remind me I turned Minnie's Warden way down. Oh shit. I'm gonna find the right button. That was the right button. Run, chum. I think boomalopes are slow. Um, it appears many whelps. Right side. Oh, they got little fucking scorcher mechs. How cute are they? Watch Chum go. He ain't afraid of nothing. Man's a bad motherfucker. They don't even see him. He's so sneaky. Morcana and Trevor, I don't want you to also be bad motherfuckers. That's a chum exclusive job. Chum, he sees you? Chum, he sees you. I think it's too late to apologize. Now you're good. You're good. You just mosey on. You just mosey on, chum. Real good mosey there. It, it, I don't... No, Ellie. I, I mean, I'd like to assume it is, but I'm not certain. I would think I have the science that we'd know, but maybe I have to do something to find out if their swimmies would be brokey. What's this motherfucker still looking at? He knows where the bad motherfucker is, and he won't look away.
Chum, you ain't shooting at shit there. You're getting shot at. You may have gotten hit. You got an arm shot off. That doesn't seem like something a boomalope did, do you? It's all right. Now you got room for bionics. That'll make you happy. You die in three hours? Oh no. Oh no, he's hunting her. It's fine. Weird it just decided to make that move there. How much health can that fucking thing have left? Oh, they shot his gun off? That's pretty tight. Not terrible. Four, uh, five turrets. Still gotta deal with this shit, but I think it's in another one that's in a decent position. If I really just want to make it simple, huh? Never mind. That ain't up yet. Final straw was your organ was harvested. Dude, we did that like months ago. Watch this move. It was a fail. How has he been interacted with two recently ago, but not recruited? Yeah, we saw where the golds were. They're very far away. Rafiki, thank you for the 102 months. How you doing, man? Nah, you haven't impregnated the queen, but you did fuck her. So we were excited about that. She really likes you a lot. Which is weird. You ain't fucked in a while. Still here. Can't complain. It's been a good month. Stream-wise, anyway. I've been streaming. Doing my job. It's weird. Oh, just in time, Rafiki. 102 months deserves at least a female imp. Incapable of being social, but you run and you're pessimistic. You like to punch shit. 
Uh, you're gonna mine good someday. You really like to craft and use your brain. I'm not gonna let you use your brain. I don't need that shit. You're not gonna cook. I mean, craft away. If that's what you wanna do, go ahead. The rest I'm fine with. Oh, I gotta get you off the drugs. You guys wanna fuck yet? Ooh, 17%. Like, go f make the move in bed together. Now it's, it was unsuccessful. Now it's awkward and you gotta leave the room. <laughs> Fourteen days before you can try another romance? What are these boundaries? The game comes with preset boundaries. I gotta deal with that fucking toxic spewer. Are you gonna care about going outside right now? I think it slowed you down. It's like snowy though. That's practically no sun. Fucking kidding me. And then you get shot running by that tiny little gap there. Hunting me again? I fire spewed early. Oh, no, I didn't. Eat shit, warg. Jump away. Bro, shoot. Listen, where'd those people go that were over here a second ago?
All right, he's done. He's not done. He's turned back around. He's coming back for more. Rev Banger, thank you for the gifts. Wait, you still see me? You still see me? Fuck it. Dane, thank you very much. You hate fire. You fucking hate fire. That shot so goddamn fast. He's eating your food. You gotta, you gotta go in the line, I tell you. You're gonna take a little shot here, but that's no big deal. Toxic Spewer is still not dead. It's a lot of visitors. Like a ton. Gotta hit your shots, man. Oh, wait. Oh, well, that works, too. All right. Give me these two imps. They ain't afraid of no fire. has landed. I repeat, the wasp has landed. Eat shit. Oh, I fucking missed. You're trapped. Now you're dead. It's a close call.
Yeah, I killed with my phone. Were they all aggro? No. That's bullshit, dude. I kill them right next to each other. They don't even react. I think it helps. It's cold as fuck, so they're like barely alive, but... I gotta get some use out of my iPhone. If not smashing wasps, then what? Wasps don't care when I kill them. Don't know, I can't answer the exact why, but they don't care. Because I kill them constantly right next to one another. And they don't care. So like... I'm assuming it's partially the cold weather? But all I can go off is the countless hundreds of wasps I've murdered in the last few weeks directly next to their allies. Even on the days where it was 70, they didn't give a shit. Nah, I just have a one-bathroom house now instead of a two-bathroom house. Like, uh... I've got the wasps contained now. At least in the cold, contained to just... I abandon that bathroom. And at night, I can use the bathroom. You just have to not be creeped out by, like, this... These weird mounds of wasps that pile up in the corners. I don't, I get paid once a fucking month, y'all. I haven't had any opportunity to get rid of them. Why did I do that? I don't know. So they were all slaughtered? Yeah, unfortunately they've made a nest inside my like wall floor combo that is very, very, very difficult to get to and I have not been able to eliminate them. No poisons or sprays have been successful. Yeah, we're going big. I think we'll keep our D focused, but we're going to go big. And just claim three quarters of the map as my own. More feasible? No, there's just no way to get to it. You can't Without tearing a hole in my house, there's no way to get at them. I was told by a fucking exterminator that the queen will leave in the winter and bury herself, but I'm wondering if she's staying warm enough that she doesn't feel the need to leave. I'm not sure. No, it doesn't get bigger. They still have to eat? They're fucking cannibalistic, too, though. So, like, I don't know how long they can survive, especially because they go, like, basically hibernate and immobile, right? 
throughout the winter. So I don't know how long they can survive if I were because I could trap them in the wall. Which I tried once, but they ate right through the fucking foam and back out of the house. Uh, but I could probably get them trapped pretty good. I just don't know if it would be a permanent solution or if it'd just be like, yeah, they're gone, and then spring hits and she starts back to business. It's not in a room. It's like in between floors. It's very awkward positioning that I don't know that I can make. If I could make any access to it, I would have. Which is why I stopped talking about it, because, like, everybody had these amazing suggestions that would be great and wonderful if you could get to them at all. But, like, without tearing up my fucking a hole from outside or through my bathroom floor, I don't know how I'm going to ever have any impact on them. I've tried every simple enough solution down to I even tried funneling them through poison and all kinds of things but they're very creative those dumb wasps or resilient I don't know which I've literally had like every single suggestion made Hoffman so uh, while I appreciate what you're attempting to do um I, I, I've, I've just gone over it nine million times with people. I personally, I as as Richard underscore Hammer, cannot deal with them. I do not have the the necessary ability. I have this real condition problem where when people make suggestions to me that feel very obvious, I get frustrated. So the wasp thing has been <laughs> a point of anger for me lately. You'd think killing like hundreds of them would be an eviction notice or at least like a threatening enough situation they'd consider leaving. Yeah, I just don't I don't have an, I don't have the know-how to figure it out anymore. I can't solve it. I've heard every suggestion under the sun from chat since it's been going on for like a month. I just literally been broke since my last payday, which was the 10th. duct tape well, I think hundreds is probably light even if it was a big nest I don't think it's very big anymore I think I have done well keeping it from getting out of hand so is the weather has helped but they grow so fast Yeah, that's the problem, right, person? It feels like when people make low-tier suggestions, they're just basically calling. And I know that's not the intention. Everyone's just trying to be helpful. But it feels like getting called a big dum-dum-dum-dum. Do I want to deal with six hives? Not really. Not for any of that garbage. We're, yeah, my mom is allergic. This is like the only bitch I can't have my mother over. That's such a shame. You know? I've been stung twice by them, I think. But, you know, it doesn't really bug me. Like, not even... 
I'd rather, I've said this for years and years since before this problem, I'd rather be stung by a fucking bee or a wasp than bit by a mosquito. The, mo the worst part about honestly, the only part about it that's driving me nuts is every, like, around 10 o'clock in the morning, one or two find their way into my house, and I hear them, and they wake me up, and I gotta get up and kill them so I can go back to bed. That's the only part that's bugging me. <laughs> Bitches driving me nuts with their little bzz, bzz, bzz. They like to just buzz in this shit, and that's very loud. Smash their dumb wasp bodies into things. Dumb wasps. But I hope we'll... I don't know. I hope I can afford to get them removed this month, because they're annoying. We'll see. Dane, thank you for the $38.16. I don't... That's an incredibly unique number. I appreciate it very much. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, from a prepaid visa, you got it work. Well, thank you very much. Seriously. Yeah, they did. I didn't let them in. They found their way in. There's this stupid pipe that runs up. Oh, doctor. Wasp killing fund. That's all. All right, I'll get rid of the damn wasps, doctor. Thank you. Seriously. We'll have nothing to talk about once the wasps are gone. That was our one conversation topic. Pissing Richard off, telling him, have you tried bug spray? Oops, I forgot to do this. Seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been trying to, like, I know... It, I've been, I didn't stream a lot for quite a few months there, and I'm trying to get back to it and... My, I don't like to complain about my financial situation when I put myself in it, so I've been trying not to sound too fucking needy, but it does mean a lot right now. It's going to take a couple months. Uh, the way Twitch works, we don't get paid for 60 days. So, like, our numbers are way up this month again because I've been putting in the hours, but I won't get to fucking see it until Christmas. Fuck, I don't even think I'll see it before Christmas. That was just a fly. What is a fly doing out and about in this weather? Oh, it's grape season. This is two years in a row they didn't pick the grapes by me, and it pisses me off. Epic Puma is thank you for the $5 for the wasp fund. These wasps are getting rich. Or am I buying wasps and sending them to my enemies? Thank you, wizard. Thank you. Little wasp hats. I put my house up for sale, but uh, as I expected, I haven't had any luck. It's a shitty time to put up a house for sale, especially a house on a lake, so I am hoping I can get my financial situation cleaned back up. It's been years, man. I've been, since Kim left, I've been just trying to figure out how to do it all as a single person parent. So. And then instead of, like, just maintaining the grind I'd been on, I got frustrated, got depressed, and really slacked on working, which was the worst idea possible, but I kind of just was giving up. Brussels, thanks for the 10 bucks. You're cool and I've enjoyed lurking for a while. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much hookers, so much blow.
I had a fucking, I have a weird one in my, oh. That's the, that's, so that's the other part, key decagon. That's a ton of money, but like, your question intrigues me as much as the money, because I have a hard time explaining this one to the internet, too. Like, I'll have something, I'm like, you know, uh, something dumb. I'm like, I want to get, uh, fucking new headphones, and Chad will be like, here, here's 150 bucks for headphones, and I'll be like, the thing is... I'm poor. So like groceries is also a thing that I need and not the thing I want. <laughs> and then that that one's hard to rationalize the chat because like, yeah, I want all kinds of things like a yacht. Um, but I can't rationally buy a yacht when I don't have food. That's a ton of money, Kidekagon. And now I just have to be uncomfortable and I hate money. It makes everything so weird. It makes me so awkward. I'd rather go on a dozen blind dates than get a $200 donation. And like have all the blind dates be misses as well. Thought it was a barge, whatever, dude. You know, the point was. <clears throat> uh, anytime I get money, it's always that internal struggle of do I do the silly ass thing that they wanted to gave me money for, or do I feed myself? your money now. Yeah, but I don't want to insult people who gave for a reason. I will definitely get rid of the wa I will make the call tomorrow. There'll be no more wa <laughs> Thank you, Callus Degro. I better move some of that to the bank right now before I forget and don't have... The ability to give the money to the man. He was just out here twice for my neighbors, too. Apparently, it's it's a real buggy time. What do you mean, failed to log in? I've never typed my password wrong in my entire life. Does everyone else get that, like... I probably get it slightly worse than the average show, but that instant anxiety that you've been hacked every time you type your password wrong? I do get hacked all the time because of what I do for a living and my accounts are like all over the place. But you get that instant anxiety. Somebody else just give me money? I've never had it pop up like this before. Okay. Slappy slap. For the wasp or your wildest dreams. What's my wildest dream? My wildest dream was yesterday. I had a dream... Uh. You know one of those dreams? I said this, but I think it's worth repeating. I had uh, one of those dreams that you're convinced it, it was real. Like, no doubt in your mind, 100%, I was guaranteed this happened. This was real. And the dream was that I had a, a drawer that I never use. I have one drawer in my dresser I never use. I just throw, like, streamer shirts and shit in there I never wear. And in my dream, I checked that drawer for some reason, and it was just full of clean socks. And I was like so excited that I didn't have to do laundry because I had this drawer full of clean socks that I forgot was there. And then I woke up, went to get socks out of the drawer to put them on, and they weren't there. And it was just, it was devastating. Bike man, thank you very much for the raid. Sorry, we're in the middle of a chaos moment. Thank you very much, bike man. I hope you're doing well, bro. Thank you, Slappy Slap. Those are my dreams, though. Super exciting. Real riveting stuff. Clean socks. Fuck, guys. Now I'm all weird and my cheeks are probably red and I feel like I just hate it. It's so uncomfortable. I'm not giving it back, but I'm going to be awkward for like at least 32 minutes. 
grown-up moment. It, it's not a grown-up moment though, because I have a mountain of laundry I need to do. But my washing machine is giving been giving me shit forever, and it. Oh. Wow, Trevor and Skyline getting married in just one season together. Breaking the racial barrier. They don't give a fuck. Work is attacking for being re what for being harmed. Oh, I didn't harm him. Combo did. Just go buy socks and no, I should just do laundry. My washer though, it uh <laughs> see this is another topic where chat's gonna tell me like sweet washing machine advice, but my washer uh continues to think it's out of balance no matter like the size of the load it's balanced um and keeps throwing fucking error codes on me in the middle of washes and it's really annoying because then I gotta respin it and redo it and then it just works should add the million dollar tags what It was a free washer from my brother when he moved to California, so I'm not complaining, but. When I moved in the house, it came with a washer and dryer, and it was like the super ancient 1992 stackable apartment washer and dryer. The washer shit in that. So I got my brother's washer for free. So now I just have this stackable washer and dryer that only the dryer works. And then this like newer front loading washing machine next to it. It's a real mess over here in my life. That can have a fucking error code. Dude, it, it's got too many fancy things. I really don't like the front washing, front loading washing machines. I feel like every one I've had, which is like two, uh, they just seem to hold stink worse. And you gotta clean them and stuff more often. Probably is good, but like solving that riddle. Last time I told Chad I fixed my dryer, they yelled at me for like three years. There was like a thermal fuse on my washer on my dryer that went out and I looked it up and they wanted like 60 bucks for it or something dumb so I just used a bread tie instead <laughs> I sold that house like that I'm lucky I I should have told them now that I think about it I should have told them like hey that dryer is not safe I didn't even get real wire I just used a bread tie just scraped it with a razor and Uh, I mean, it's space-saving, and, uh, the, the shelves the most OP thing they added to the game, honestly. The change to the shelves, most OP thing they've ever added to the game. Um, because one, it lets you have a storage room that has, doesn't have a mood negative when you go into it and out of it. But I agree, the downside, like, the one-player downside is sorting it is a lot more tedious. Um, but it's so good, dude. The space you save. I mean, space is so valuable. If you're going to build big colonies, uh, you know, I like to go as big as I can. Uh, space becomes just such a priority. So it's, it's huge. Bypassing safety. Yeah, I was amazed it worked, honestly. It, like six years I had no okay uh, maybe like six years I had that dryer it might still be there for all I know and it did try to catch fire huh my dryer never did my bread time must have been stronger than yours Those are those moments where I'm, like, proud of myself that I solved it. Because I have, like, zero real mechanical background besides my father's been a mechanic his whole life. 
And I absorbed a lot more of it than I realized. Like a gross amount. I swore and I told myself I was ignoring everything he ever said about electrical, automobiles, construction. But somehow I just absorbed way too much of it. So it was one of those moments where I was like really proud that I solved a thing I didn't even really know what it was. It was like my dad just giving me some lecture when I was 12 years old and not paying any attention worked out. But also dangerous. <laughs> You know, yeah, like when I played uh, My Summer Car and put together an entire car, I was in. in the only thing I struggled with was a fucking uh, the uh, I can see it. The distributor, and that's because distributors are older than I am. And I mean, the fact that I even know what a distributor is, is weird to me. Because I have, like, this zero car. I've never done any anything beyond changing my own oil. And even that, I try to avoid doing. I'm going to try the kill box again. I, I don't love them. But I do feel like I'm getting very valuable with all my plasteel and stuff. I haven't, I haven't done one in so long. I don't even remember how they do them right. Oh my god, more people giving me money. Anonymous. <laughs> Thank you. Very, very much. Twitch is so weird, dude. <laughs> uh. Oh, I didn't say this on stream, but I said it. Uh, thank you. That not That's not that. I'm just immediately when I don't know if I thank that guy enough. Let me thank him again because guilt. Uh, I walked into my daughter's fucking Halloween thing at school. And I don't Alice wandered off with her friend. And I'm talking to this lady and kid walks up and is like, what Twitch streamer are you dressed up as? Because I was wearing this Twitch hoodie and I just immediately knee-jerk reaction with the depressed old man. And <laughs> the kid looked at me all confused and I was like, he's new. And it was probably my greatest joke ever. Uh, and also depressing. There's no way I'm going to do that many. Why am I acting like I'm going to build 9,562 turrets? All I'm doing is giving them cover. I probably don't have components for like 13 turrets. Thank you, Dirty Tongue. It's broken, Richard. No, it's fine, Richard. My brain is just goo right now. Chat sent me into goo mode. People still care about ninja. It's been a long time since the kids. Uh, I most lately I've been getting a lot of Mr. Beast questions whenever anyone brings. Alice likes to immediately throw it up, throw it out in front of her friends when I'm around. Which is, of course, she's a kid. He is huge. I think he's, uh, you know, entertaining enough. I I find myself sitting in my car, like, waiting for my kid to get done with sports activities, occasionally watching a Mr. Beast video on Facebook or something. Alice made me try the Mr. Beast dark chocolate. Quinoa dark chocolate. It was actually good. I don't even know what a quinoa is. Never eaten one before because I only eat meat, cheese, and bread. But uh, it was good.
Yeah, most of you that have been around a long time know that I'm not like a huge charity guy. Don't, I don't know, organize charity. It's just so much bullshit involved in that too. I, I do love the idea of just giving money away to people. Way more than... He does a lot for charity as well, but I, I love the dumb concept of just giving money to strangers. And not just like a little bit, you know? There's lots of videos where people give $100 to a guy who can catch a basketball or whatever, but like life-changing money. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's like the highest tier of content, but it's tolerable. It's the old, the newer stuff, especially. It's like it's a lot mellower than it was. I can't do the high strung shit my daughter watches. Yeah, we used to do a bunch of like charity motorcycle rides and stuff back when I was in the motorcycle industry, and uh, they were cool. But in the last few years, we started doing like local specific people stuff and that was a lot more fun man giving it directly to a family you know is in need was a lot more fun than paying a ceo's wages i it doesn't help i know a girl i've known her since i was like a teenager who uh has a master's degree in nonprofit and like i don't know what she makes but it's a lot I, i've seen the way she lives it's a good life she's living and that shit just i don't know feels fucking weird it's also weird as a streamer just it's like how this shit made me uncomfortable like doing a charity event i haven't talked about this one in a long time but we used to do a lot more charity events and a lot of the people i i used to have more twitch friends Doing a charity event on Twitch is like that weird borderline scummy thing for me because you have selfish intentions. It's one of those, I'm doing a good thing, yes, but I'm also doing it out of greed because when you do these big events, you're expecting extra hype. While you may not profit immediately, but like say I say, I, oh guys, I'm gonna this month only, I'm gonna give a hundred percent of my sub revenue to charity. Next month, at least twenty percent of those people are gonna forget to unsubscribe. And like, we as streamers know that we're aware of that. We can't. It's one of those things that even if we don't say it out loud, it feels crazy to not recognize that fact but we end up in the same boat where we're, we're also profiting off what's supposed to be philanthropy right And so many charity events got pitched to me that way for years and years and years when I first started streaming, like, this is how it's going to be so good for you. And it's like, man, I don't know, that ain't, that ain't exactly the way I want that to be. I don't know, it just feels weird. Luckily, I'm not a big enough streamer and I gotta worry about it too much more. <laughs> of course, you need to benefit from it. Uh, yeah, but, like... So, the, the thing isn't just benefiting from it. It's when people are doing it solely for the benefit. And myself included, like... You, you know... At the end of the day, it's. I mean, I guess I'm just not a kind enough person to be able to go. I care. I don't know. It's, it's just weird. It's just weird. Don't love it. Don't love doing it. It'd have to be something I was truly passionate about.
I have some more, like, I don't know, excuses, I guess, but I think I've made my point clear. It's just, it's just an uncomfortable area for me, and Twitch hasn't helped. Like, the Twitch experience, not Twitch specifically, hasn't helped my opinions and feelings on it. No, I agree. I wouldn't say sh shitty person is an exaggeration, but... It fucks with my moral compass. And you know that I am a guy who is always struggling with his moral compass. You want three bionic spines. 50 goodwill's pretty tight, but you're a tribe people. As for attacks right off, we don't really... That one is also something I think I never learned tax-wise too, but that's a whole other side of it, but yeah. Uh, charity's got better now, and you can you guys can tip directly to them instead of we used to fucking take the money and then tip it ourselves, and then yeah, we do have to deal with the whole tax side of that. I think it's still overall a net positive of good, but it just doesn't need to be necessarily isn't something I want to be involved in regularly. But that, that shit gets fucking weird, dude, when you're balancing your good and your evils. <laughs> or your... Yeah, exactly, Sale. It's taken cutting the middle cutting us out of the middleman is so much better than than charities learned that shit quick. So much better for the streamer and the viewer. I really thought I was going to do more of it. I guess we'll keep on the topic. I don't know. It's a weird topic. Uh, but then I went to St. Jude <laughs> and uh, absolutely blew my relationship with them instantly because I just couldn't handle the hospital, dude. It was the most emotional, overwhelming place I've ever been on the planet. I literally walked out of a guided tour where we were not allowed to leave or leave the group and just fucking tried to find my way out of their insanely secure barbed wire fenced in hospital and ended up in a smoking section with a bunch of patients that were staying there and it was it was a whole ordeal. A little thing for the 56 months. I like I know I knew I was an emotional wiener, but fuck that place just absolutely. I would you could not pay me enough. Um, okay, I'm greedy. You could pay me enough, but it would take a lot of money to ever convince me to go back to that building. The saddest fucking place on earth. Did I say that, dude? Dude, oh my god. 
It was hard, man. I was, I, I, I did say, like, the coolest thing I got out of the experience was when I did that and I wandered off and found that smoking section. I ended up smoking with uh, a girl who had been going there since she was an infant and she was now just a couple years younger than me at the time. So she was in her, like, early 20s or late teens. Um, and her mom and uh, sitting there smoking cigarettes with them talking about their experience through St. Jude and, like, seeing the, the positive side of it, the recovery side of it, that she's fucking, you know cancer free and moved on and hearing her mom talk about the financial side saving them and shit stop it dumpster things a hundred dollars stay away from that building that was so much better for me like emotionally than the whole the whole tour man the tour was hard why is the hospital surrounded by barbed wire is in memphis It's in downtown Memphis, which is actually, like, intentionally done. The, the history of St. Jude and stuff is pretty cool. Like, uh, it's intentionally done there because it was right as right through some uh, racial movement stuff. And uh, so they intentionally picked, like, a black city that had still had segregation. And they made their hospital unsegregated. And uh, But, yeah, Memphis is a tough town, man. St. Jude. Oh, I can't imagine, Sheenie. It's a very, so the one thing I think a lot of people don't realize about St. Jude that makes it a little less cool is it's a research hospital. So like, it's not just, not anybody can come and go as they please. Um, and that includes patients. Like, you can't, you know, your kid gets cancer, you can't take them to St. Jude. Unless your kid gets this incredibly specific cancer that they happen to currently be researching, you're not taking your kid to St. Jude. Um, while they do pay for everything and put you up in all this shit and like go above, oh my god, good lord, chat. <laughs> I can't. Uh, but yeah, they... Uh, they bring people from all over the globe too, right? Like people from fucking Africa and places, you know, that, that there's no way these kids would ever gotten treatment. But again, it's because that kid had this specific disease they were researching. Um, and then on top of that, they share all of their research, 100% public data. I think anybody can get on their website and just go scroll through their fucking data, uh, which is pretty interesting. So like, I, I, I mean, I have seen the positive sides and, and ideas of charity, but there was. I also got to see the unfortunate side of it from being uh, an influencer, which was I was flown down there. I was taken to dinners. I, it was all paid for. There was dozens of streamers. The majority of us were just there because it was a really good way to rub elbows with a bunch of other streamers. And like, even if that's not the case, it's hard not to feel that way. People stayed up late partying and getting drunk and showing up to events hungover. And, yeah, like I said, the, the Twitch side of charity definitely rubbed me. I already wasn't the biggest, didn't have the biggest trust in them to begin with. And then the Twitch side of it just took it to a whole new level of, I don't really want to do a lot of it. Sale. Spend it on anything. What you want or what you need. I have power? Did we already go over this? Wow. So many name changes, dude. It's so hard to keep up with all of you. And then I can't remember them anyway. I'll give you back 10 of your $100 if you capitalize your S. I hate when names don't have capitals. Thank you, though. Thank you. Seriously, guys. That is, like, a lot.
there would be riots if you barbed a hospital. Like everything, I mean, everything in a city is barbed here. <laughs> and Memphis is a, a like a pretty tough fucking town. Yeah, I know it is, KJ. I know it is. But like, I, well, that's part of it too. It's no different than a sponsor, right? If I'm doing a sponsor for Sega, I don't give a fuck, right? Like, if I am successful or not, if if it's profitable or not, I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. I want to keep Sega happy, but I know they're, you know, whatever. Um, but if I, like, tomorrow I'm going to do a stream for Madrinus with Alex, and, like, I want nothing more than for it to be successful, us to have fun and to sell coffee, because I like Alex and he's a friend of mine. Um, but that's part of it, too, man. When I'm getting flown down to these things... and and taking money out of their pocket that I don't think I can recuperate. Uh, it doesn't, you know, there's just, there's a lot of layers to it, man. And I'm just, I think too deep into things. I should just not. <laughs> Rev banger. Thank you for the money for stuff. Like I said, the, the too many layers. If I, if I was going to do it again, it would be... It'd have to be an event that I was super passionate about. Which there are some. It won't be St. Jude, though, because I did piss them off very bad by leaving their tour when there was a specific, you're not allowed to go off on your own thing. But I was, like, having a full-on anxiety attack. And I just didn't care. I just left. Yeah, look at that capital. Now, is it, uh, yeah, the, so, it's great, or I wouldn't do it, and I've done it for years. It's great. Um, I mainly have just been trying to quit sugar, so I don't do a ton of the coffee anymore, um, because most of their coffee flavors are sugared. I do do their beans, just their coffee beans in the morning uh, but I do mostly their green coffee fuelers which is similar to like any of your juice energy mixes I don't want to name brands but you know the brands that exist um, but instead it uses coffee instead of taurine and guarana and whatever the fuck to for energy it's just coffee so they have all these green coffee fuelers that are fruit flavored and super low sugar because I uh, yeah Quit sugar. Got weird about my diet. Big fuck. Uh, if you grew up with instant coffee, my parents always drank instant coffee because they were in a hurry all the time. In a hurry. Uh, the 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 premix stuff that they have, their cold brews, they call it. I don't know why they call it, still call it cold brews because you can do them hot and they're just as good hot. I use them occasionally when I'm in a hurry as a instant coffee. Uh, but normally I just brew a pot with the beans. You have to have a bean grinder and grind the beans. Makes your house smell nice for hours. I like that part. But the beans are really reasonably priced in comparison to what I've looked. Yeah, so Ankle, you would want beans and then a grinder, a bean grinder, which I think I got mine for like $12 at Walmart. And then you can just have your Folgers style coffee. After COVID, you can't stand coffee. Weird. I love coffee. But I like my coffee heavy on the cream and sugar, which again, I'm doing that damn dumb diet thing. Yeah, we I finally quit sugary drinks. I think the Madrinus is like five grams of sugar in comparison to the RX Energy's like 34 grams of sugar. <laughs> Thank you for the 83 months. Hope you're well, Ankle.
Did I immediately get someone timed out in your chat the other day? I think I did. I think that was your chat. Briefly, good. I have that problem everywhere I go on the internet. There are certain streams that I've just kind of stopped chatting in because they have very strict mod rules and people immediately start yelling dick and getting timed out and banned. Oh, I like insulted you or hit on you. That's what I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got like real, real sexual with you. Yeah, and got banned for, I got banned, not them. It was me. That's right. I remember now. Now my, ver now it's all coming back. I got real sexual with you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. I've seen your whole ass hog though, dude. So like, I can get sexual with you if I want to. You're gonna run around in basketball shorts hanging meat all day. <laughs> Show off one time. One time. All right. All right. When I was like a teenager, uh, my grandpa switched. This reminds me of you, Ankle. My grandpa switched to boxers from briefs, and like the entire family had to sit him down and have a conversation and be like, Grandpa, no, you can't do that. You just make every man in this family feel. He was a. Uh, not really related by blood. He was this big Norwegian dude and hung like a fucking horse. And we're like, nah, Grandpa, you got to go back to briefs, dude. You're killing us all here. Even even make Grandma uncomfortable. Just swinging meat everywhere he went. And that's like ankle. I'm just saying, if I was swinging, if if I was grandpa in that scenario, I'd have told everyone to fuck off and swing that meat. But he was respectable, respectable. He had like three other sons before my grandma married him too. So like at one point, my dad and my uncle lived with his three sons, and I bet that was a shit show. Some serious dick envy going on there. Get used to batting at home. No, I don't know. I have I have an incredibly tiny flaccid penis, like a thimble. I don't have that problem. I can wear a fucking speedo and look like a Ken doll, so. I would love to borrow some penis. Like a half an inch, you know? That's it. And you got at least that to spare, honestly. Due to starvation. Oh no! My sheeps! Time to slaughter. Oh my god, they're pregnant. I can't slaughter them when they're pregnant. Though they're miscarrying because they're starving. So is it which is worse? You can offer me like four inches of foreskin? That would work, dude. I could shove like some of that kinetic sand in there. Give it a nice realistic feeling. <laughs> band, band the tip.
I sterilized, not slaughtered? What? Did they just go out there and de- Oh, wait, I didn't do it yet. I don't want to... All this dick talk and I just start cutting the, the wieners off my sheep. So I'm thinking about giving them a giant pen up here. I don't know that there's like anything. To, it's the middle of winter. There's some bushes they might be able to eat. Jesus, you just leave. Oh no. Oh no, chum. Chum, you took one straight to the header. Forgot about them. Keep running, chum. Get in the trees. You'll, lo you'll lose them in the trees. Do I have enough blood? Oh, dude, we're getting a good stockpile of blood for my vampire. I mean, if we run out of food this winter, I'll just have to start vamping everybody. How long till he needs to death rest? His genes are still regrowing. Oh, soon to avoid exhaustion. I really want to give him a cool secret vampire lair, but... Oh, he does. It says he needs it right there. I just used up, like, all of my components and shit. No, that's not cool enough. It's just going to be where bugs spawn. <laughs> In case somebody tries to stake him. Oh no, I didn't think about this. Really? One, one little... Come on, bud. Oh, I left you on the mortar too long, eh? The alpaca just, other than the muffalo, just living with him. That thing's gonna need a new barrel in like a couple of shots. Uh, Alright, so there's like nine million things that can go along with a death casket. And I'm not really sure. Ignore the miscarriages.
I'm not really sure which ones I need or if you can have them all. This allows him to store more. This one makes him not sleep so long. death resting one building okay so we'll just go with the accelerator That's not true. There's mortars. You just don't have a barrel. Don't lie to me. Yeah, dude, like one that just uh, jacked him off the whole time he's death resting. All kinds of cool attachments. Speaking of, these guys are almost going to need to be jacked off soon. Oh, I forgot about my attempt at forced couples. How's that going? Five days before you can try again. You've fallen in love with someone else? Failure, and then you just leave the bed. Failure. You'd think you'd have to succeed at one of those 10%. 10% chance to fucking piss off a boomalope, and I do that first try every time. Why do they need to be jacked off? I don't know. It's their religion or something. The leaving the bed is the best part. Like, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll leave. You had an auto jack off machine. That's pretty tight. Hopefully. Then you've just been out here shooting mortars all night long. Oh, you're not shooting at the correct target. Useful. Is that five mortars you've shot up there? Big value. Donkeys join. How many donkeys? Just two? All right. your shots and I respect that about you you're stressed the fuck out now mad donkey it's a real ass move come on mini finish it Is 
Sorry, I just got this need to go through my social tab and see if anyone can fuck. Trevor, you have a new woman. You're getting married soon. Dark Ritual, 8%. That's not a very good percent. And who is it? She's old. She doesn't breed good. We've tried for years. They're really old. Wow, they just don't want to fuck. That's the best option. Go for it. Take Shoot your shot, baby. If you can catch her. <laughs> if you can catch her. It worked! Maybe his young sperm into her old eggs will work out for us. I'm sorry, chat. You missed... Wait, they were already sharing a bed? Oh. Minnie, I feel like you're doing so much worse than Dane was. This is getting real expensive now. Did they actually change it so chan or shooting makes a difference? his first shot. I mean... Well, we got boys coming in every hole. Oh, I forgot to build a fucking place for people to stand up there. Yeah, that's a lot of thrombos, dude. Wait, is someone getting hurt? No, this thing's just already in our walls. Unfortunately, they go Manhunter, not Mech Hunter. I like the chaos of them just switching targets, not knowing which one to shoot. <laughs> just paint them fucking brown. I, I got out here a little early. There's a turret exploding. We killed a couple of muffalos. That's free food. I want to try to kill those uh, 
thrombos, but I feel like that ends poorly for me. Boy, you guys got to get kind of close, huh? Oh, it seemed like we were doing really well up here. Now all of a sudden, just five turrets gone. Rude. Six. I should have made him focus fire, but we won't talk about that. Alright, these sheep are going to get me killed. I gotta really reduce my sheep number. There's so many pregnant sheep, it feels so bad to kill them. I don't have a choice, chat. I'm not a monster. What's it called when you eat an egg with a baby in it? It's just like that. Canna. Definitely need uh, to uh, get people up there for those. I literally just built them. Oh, I also don't think they add that much. And if anything, they add some negative, which is people using them as cover. If you mean down here in my field. I have noticed very little effect on it defending my turrets and a ton of effect on me having to shoot at dudes hiding behind sandbags. I don't mind the animals wandering in. I just kill them. Oh, is that here? Oh, it is. Food! We love food. Okay, I didn't kill that one. It died on its own. I'm doing well. to force him to go do his death resting? He won't do it on his own? Oh, 
I think we gotta kill a couple of thrombos. They're not all together. Oh, the merchants up there. You know, I may have forgot just the kind of situation I set myself up here for. I thought I thought they would go down faster than that with this many guns. Sorry, right, I got I got a backup plan. You light a motherfucker on fire. He's got reach, Rafiki. He's got reach. You didn't need that toe anyway. You hated that toe. It was your weird... Didn't match the rest of your feet toe. Just bleeding out trying to insult people. Honestly, insults are so annoying. <laughs> I don't want to kill him. Uh, no, you've gotten like all kinds of bionic bits. And you're looking handsome now, Calisteger. Sorry, guys. Whoops. My bad. Night sail. No, no, no. Don't, don't grenade your own merchant. Thank you. Thrombo's down. Nice bit of food. Plus a little thrombo horn in your tea. That'll get you uh, horned up. Hence the baby-making potential of our colonists, probably, maybe. It could be true. Motherfucker is still just running around bleeding, trying to insult people. Hey, they fucking? No. Oh, I forgot again. I got to turn big sperm on, though she doesn't get pregnant. She's got a bunk... This might be the real test, though. Maybe it was Trevor's fault. I guess now we'll know for sure. There's no way two dudes in a row got broken guns. Statistically impossible. I don't want to wake Orkan up. She might fuck. I 
God, you're already in your room with your wife. Stop complaining. You need an artificial part. But yeah, Cow Steger, you, uh... Oh, you're almost an adult. You got a prosthetic leg, a drill arm, and a bionic arm. So you're just missing two toes. And, like, a whole leg. Hey, Ranger. You're an adult now. Congrats. Look at you. I haven't found you love. Well, you're not old enough for love. Which kid fucked off? The dude I can't say his name fucked off. Which is why I was like, whatever, I can't even pronounce his name right. It's fine. Two groups of Yifkins will attack. And I get some stuff. Second similar size group. I get four days till they show up. Where's the love enhancers? I'm not there yet. I'm working on it. We're, we're on our way. I need to check my drills, actually. Still drilling strong. Oh, you got too far out of your... It's real dirty in here. I wanted to build a kitchen in here somewhere, but it just didn't fit. Now I gotta figure something else out. Maybe move these corpses. I also thought about trying to fit it in this corner and moving the door down, but that'd be kind of ugly. I could artificially inseminate people, but I want everyone to fuck missionary with the sole purpose of creating children. It's my colony, my religion, my rules. It's fucking freezing and I don't gotta worry about fridge door being open. Has to be missionary? Yeah. They seem to suck at it. I mean, only, literally only what had... Well, now we're up to our whopping three couples. And Sky... And they're old women. I'm blaming age. You've been fucked lately? Yeah, you did get fucked. Have a kid. I want to see what happens. If you didn't get a neural supercharge when it's up, that's on you. Uh, they're a vampire. They're vampire recharging. I don't know how long that takes. 1.7 more days. Wake now! No. I had a pregnancy in one playthrough, but then she miscarried and the... It was just too much for me emotionally, so I threw that colony away. They're just now asking for the altar? I forgot that was even a thing. Man, that one colony I played, I must have played it a long time and got nowhere, huh? No, she miscarried because she didn't have any food. She was just hungry. <laughs> Not even like she was fighting for her stone good. Just hunger.
I mean, you got pregnant very quickly. I wasn't ready for it. And yes, your living conditions were kind of poor. Sorry, Melon. Three to four millimeters? That's huge! I'm gonna drink water after this. we have oh wait it's the first of april may winter's over i ain't worried about nothing i'm a goddamn genius and a winner baby has been sitting there to say I need it, need it actually, but still, it's, it took longer than I thought it played the last one even. Why can I only make a tiny baby altar? I don't know. My brother just had a kidney stone that long ago, and I think he rescued his wrong, or didn't store it properly or something. I think they made him save it, and then he fucked it up. He also claimed it was big enough that he heard it hit the porcelain. Which I don't doubt with my brother, because he's a fucking pain lunatic. He feels no pain. But, us hammer boys... Well, I guess I haven't seen my brother's pee hole to really compare but me tiniest urethra literally the tiniest urethra on the planet earth you couldn't put a sewing needle in it the fact that they're measurable calistigro is terrifying to my tiny urethra have i tried yeah definitely how else would I know these things? Why am I making this room so... I don't know. Whatever. I'm already doing it. See, I... I can't drink water all day. I just, it's so, you have to force yourself. I chug water regularly to force myself to hydrate, but I just can't sip on water. Water's the worst to sip on. So I just chug, like, as much water as I can when I think about it.
Like, it's so uh, shitty to sip on. Like, even if I don't have anything else to drink, I just, I won't sip on it. Pretty much everything uh, gives you kidney stones. Fuck, I just ate almonds for the first time in forever because they made me really sick last time I ate them. To a sugar-free diet? Yeah. I had shopped, swapped to the sugar-free diet before with the stone, so I'll probably get one now. Or nearly sugar-free. Yeah, I'll never be able to do less pasta. But I'm just saying, if a doctor tries to tell me to pass a stone, I'm pulling out my dick and showing him my urethra. Because it doesn't matter how small it is. It ain't coming out of there. A urethra stretcher? Ugh. I wonder if this would do anything. I'm gonna try it because it's funny. an old person chat now? Yes. I hate to break it to you, but it's been that way. We've done gotten old.
The internet is such a weird place. They'll like go out of their way to come up with shorthands to say things that nobody else will get. But then when it comes to pork, it's the other white meat. You know, instead of the four letters to just say pork. <laughs> what was the fucking abbreviation someone used on me yesterday that blew my goddamn mind? And people knew it. Like now. It is an old TV commercial, yeah. It might have been Brandland. It was three letters, and I have no idea what it stood for or what it is. So, could be it. Old chat. Shake and bake, and I helped. So much murder to be done. Constant struggle for a man. Where are you going? Where are you going? Why are they being so bad about rebuilding our walls? A marriage ceremony? What? Oh, in the old fungi field. Congratulations, Skyline and Trevor. Right there in the fungus. The kid missed the wedding. It's really good for new lovemaking. Medical emergency. After this, all kinds of people are going to want to fuck. Still socializing. Yeah, wave at him. Is that a sex wave or just like a regular wave? 0.2% chance. 0.5. Dane's taken, isn't he? Or did they? No, I'm still trying to make you and Dane love each other. Yeah. Your friends that share a bed, just be lovers. Hurry, her uterus is getting so old so fast. Are fifth and jolts together or did that not happen either? No. Still in bed together. Not working. Why 
would you it takes two seconds to finish the damn door until this raid gets here. Four days old. She's not going to die. We'll just turn that one off. I don't need anybody out hunting right now. When the raid's about to show up and I don't know where from. Alright. You're in bed together. You got a 22. You got a 23. Hit it, Minnie. Dane, fire back. Oh, it's down to a 12. It worked! I'm not going to miss one second where she's not trying to get a baby in her. That's like three couples now. Warcana and Dark. The Warcana's... We're pretty sure she's broken. Too old. Skyline, also very old. Minnie's really our only hope. That was some intense drama there. The way Dane went for it. She said no. No, wait. She went for it first. And, like, he really didn't want to, but he's like, fuck it. I guess I will anyway. Drama. God, I can't wait to rain hell on your fucking face. Yeah, he just didn't realize she was sitting on him. I'm seeing bubble shields on those furries. I don't like that. It's a doomsday rocket. Don't like that either. I lost track of him. Target fur. Yeah, that's a serious rocket. Oh, good, he got into a... Minnie and Dane, it's not working out, and they broke up. <laughs> it's a middle school level. Killed the Doomsday Rocket. Drug overdose, high on yayo, 
Psychite addiction, wake up addiction. I might let that one bleed out. No, I won't. Oh, a second siege is here. Ravbanger, thank you for the 10 gift subs as well. No, 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 no. What's up with this dude? He's chopping down a tree still. He didn't get the memo they were assaulting the colony. Get out there, you can sneak it. Where is why are you not out here? That didn't even hurt you. you just stunned. motherfucker has a sniper rifle. I want him. You don't get to run. Not from my vampire. Not sure how you jumped under a mountain. There was a dude with a rocket launcher coming this way. There he is. He's firing it on my turrets, at least, and not my face.
That fucking sniper. Is... Can like a few of you shoot that motherfucker? Rafiki was just standing out there without a gun is my favorite part. Oh no, maybe he did pick up a gun. I saw one on the Oh no, that was Guppy's gun on the ground. Dead in one hour. Bionic tongue, dude. I need him in here making love. That one's going to be a nightmare with the drug addictions and whatnot. How's Guppy doing? Dead in three hours. Calistigo, you're not a doctor at all, right? You've got a tiny bit of know-how. many bullets in him? Not that many. Oh, it's the leg that's getting him. Like someone else is going to bleed out here. There's so many injuries. So few doctors. fucking standing up. It's on his own two feet. Just take a quick once over. Oh, Minnie's just out here bleeding out.
good? I don't know who dumped two, Dane. We'll have to check the, the stats. Minnie's got six hours. Fifth has got eight. That's it. All right. That was a heavy hit to the turrets with the old rocket going off there. Tab is fine. He doesn't even have real injuries. Where's fifth? Guppy's on the case. And then I think that's both the serious issues. Guppy just up with one leg. God, he's such a bad motherfucker. Minnie's fine. Rainbow's getting healed as well. Make another one, either way. All right, I've had to piss since the stream started seven hours ago, so I'm gonna to go take a quick pee break, walk around, stretch my knees. Uh, I'll be right back. Grab my bag of bed almonds. I need a little snacker doodle. Seven hours in, I'm peckish. Bag of bed almonds. Gotta count them out though, because I'm counting calories. 24 nuts. Count them as I eat them. Thank you. can't eat one nut at a time. We're going to eat two at a time. It's four now.
Sorry, I had a real nut to tooth disaster there, but we're all right. I think that was 24 if we count the first count. If we trust the first count. Minnie needs a lung back. I don't want her hindered by a lack of lung. Guppy, you need to lay down. It's a torso infect. No, you're doing fine. I want to make a hospital. I just don't know where I want to put it. Always with placement in me. I struggle to find design, and then I just don't build it. Actually, what if I just built that fucker out front? Out of meals. That's the true fact. Mental state. The problem is there's you never know where the war zone is going to be. I've tried a bunch of, like, outpost hospitals and stuff like that in the past, and the problem is then they're fucking running dudes out there from your house. I don't know, I just feel like close to the front door is the best bet. Now that they added the ability to fucking doctor in the field, too, outposts don't seem nearly as important. Guppy, what are you doing? Just living dangerously, looking for food. All right, Guppy. You're going to bed. No, you're going to bed. I ain't losing you. I can't quit you! Forbidding doors? Yeah, that's too much work, man. I like my shit to be as automated as possible. Some death will happen, that's for sure. Oh, they buried the right guy. Bonus. Rafiki was short-lived. the guy I expected to be a pain in the ass. Holy shit. Shoot him with your sniper rifle. Just wait here patiently to join in on the melee battle. I like you just sweeping there. All right, third guy. Instantly stuns you. You just destroyed his leg. Who is this man, and why is he such a bad motherfucker? Damn Yifkins. The 
furry strength. have a party maybe to make some social game for the sex and whatnot uh, I don't know exactly how many hours I have in this game they're gonna approach from multiple angles and they're gonna take their sweet ass time doing it. Just to be safe, because I don't trust these idiots not to go running out there. We got three centipedes there. Two down here. Yeah, I don't know how much that is leaving it idle. I would guess a lot more than the average bear. sniper rifles probably still out here yeah yeah that sucks Fuck, I've got like no turrets up here, huh? And by like no, I mean no. These guys don't just start shooting the shit out of my power. Yeah, that's questing, man. It really amplifies the potential for combat chaos. The last one was two grades from a quest. You have to find a different job, Orcana. Go cook till combat's over. That'll be useful for us. <laughs> Look at him. He's all covered in foam. Uh, got hit with that foam blaster.
Not Randy. Never Randy. It's bad. My, I have a very hot, I have a very serious stance, and that's Randy is dumb, and for some reason people haven't realized it yet. 20 components? Huge. Yeah, I, most streamers are heavy into Randy. I think it's just because it was like what they were introduced to and didn't realize it's not actually random in the way they think it is. But in Twitch chats as well, like anytime I'm in a RimWorld stream, it's thank you, Randy. Uh, as if Randy's mean and not just statistically nicer. No, it's not actually Destrino, it's the opposite completely the opposite and if you read about the game and read how the characters or the narrators work you would know that it's the complete opposite Randy is far more likely to just give you a shitload of peace than any other narrator while it can occasionally give you a raid that is slightly outside of your wealth value it's not dramatically uh it can it's also the only one that can roll significantly lower than your wealth value as well as just re-rolling combat into good effects over and over and over and over what you can do It is truly a misconception it's conception that Randy is harder. And like I said, since they had a questing, like, if it ain't random enough for you, you're crazy. I can give you a toxic fallout for three years. Sure, but any character can do that. They made Toxic Fallout not devastating anymore, it seems. You have to figure out food, but uh, you can like go out and do things in it. Yeah, but Cass can do that too, Destrina. And I showed it the other day. I had uh, four raids in a row. Day after day after day without questing. Um, Cass can do that too. It'll just always be more balanced to your actual value and actual wealth. Because that's the thing. All of the narrators are random in the sense that they're going to give you random events. The timing of them and the necessity of a random event being a bad thing is what's affected by the different narrators. Difficulty of selection of each narrator. So the difficulty, I've debated that one on and off for a long time. Like, I really find the highest tier difficulty. They did adjust it at some point throughout RimWorld, and it affects the speed at which they lose their uh, mood bonus. Like, high expectations and stuff like that. Um... But I do find the highest difficulty honestly just becomes a corpse cleaning simulator after a while. It becomes nearly impossible to clean the corpses as fast as they drop. Um, and not, I shouldn't say as fast as they drop, but just the sheer volume of them that drop.
I, I always go back and forth between the highest difficulty and the one right below it. Yeah, he is. He is. You're exactly correct. That's it. He's more swingy, both high and low. But the thing is, when you're talking, I mean, 50-50, uh, odds are you're going to get a lot of swing low as well. So that's incredibly beneficial to the player. As well as he can just completely uh, not, he can just not swing. That's the big one. He can just not swing at all. Don't care about corpses. Uh, even if you give her the mood penalty, it's still like a ugly thing, I'm pretty sure, that starts to get really unreasonable when you have 75 corpses in front of you. Like uh, the actual beauty of the land. That's everybody, huh? The whole goddamn gang. They're really good at uh, doing this when I am when I have no one nearby. Who gave me money? I'm a lurker. Kill all the wasps. Thank you. Never too late to join in on the money. I will, I say. Minnie, you're about to get your ass kicked. Good luck. Most importantly, we kept them from getting to the weapons. Oh, it was these two? My bad. Smells like bacon. Oh no, you're shooting. That fire is getting a little out of hand there. No ham tab himself is still on fire. I should pick a guy who has two legs. No biggie. Cuffy needs a leg. Bionic. Yeah, correct leg. Oh, that's your bedroom now? Forcing you to wear something? I am. <clears throat> I'll never be able to find that hat when I make a new one. Did nobody heal the guy who got burned alive? 
That's bad for business. There's just no good place to keep everything away from everyone. I try to keep the prisoners spread out to hope that they won't all break like that together. Didn't work. I'm really running out of turrets. I gotta get back out there and get to work. I'm down to seven components. I think I have to make another make components to get somebody else to work that. Why is your crafting off? for the food delivery. What did I end up left with? One ram. Aw. Not even a breeding pair. I liked that wool. Why isn't this working? Oh, that's why. Because it's not bio-coded, it's just tattered. A lot of potential new recruits. A couple of breeding age females. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I'm trying to populate the colony. You gotta think inside the box. <laughs> they are not unrestricted again yet. Thank you. Damn, you're happy. That wedding bonus is so good. Lasts forever, too. I don't know who sends a wedding and has that effect. Oh, Guppy. A new hat for you to wear. A masterwork one. No telescopes. We're out of food again. Holy shit, it's already 5 o'clock in the morning? The night's flown. Dude, I feel... I, I don't want to, like, ruin it. And by saying it, but I feel like RimWorld has finally got enough stuff to just truly keep me entertained pretty hardcore. I hope it stays that way. I just got enough goals. I always enjoyed the game anyway, but like now it feels like I finally have enough distractions to constantly keep me focused. <laughs> If you know what I'm saying, keep me engaged, I should say, not focused.
Nah, yeah, wash away in the rain. Stays till the rain or gets swept up. There it goes. Everybody to do. I mean, clothes are cool, but have you heard about components? We need a nine million of them. Stat. I know, I, I had no animal people, so I'm, I'm excited to finally start to get some, like, useful animals. Oh, I also could have done my dryad by now, I think. Finally got enough plant people, right? I still only have two? No, three. But one doesn't do it regularly. My grandpa trained a cat uh, to shit in the toilet, and then when he died, we had it. It was kind of cool, except there was always little floating cat turds in the toilet every time you went to the bathroom. Which, like, if you have company, is kind of weird to explain. Look at that animal skill. That'll help us. Except he's a slowpoke, psychically dull, chemical fascination. I feel like training it to flush would be a lot harder. But maybe. No artificial part. Well, you don't need one. Trump's missing an eye and an arm. Lots of just give them a drill arm because they're cheaper than bionic arms. Put her social back down? I forgot. She had that inspired. Recruitment I didn't want to waste. He did get the leg. You don't need medical beds for surgery. It just says that. You were supposed to remind me. It's true. No longer has belief in the furry flock. Take that, furries. Crazy. 43 man hunting words. I only have 1.8 days. Nipper. I don't like that name. I'd take the Plasteel. You get 13 katas with it? There's no way, though.
That's a lot of wargs. 13 katas might be able to do it, actually. I think I'll give it as little long time as long of the time as I can to try to get more turrets rebuilt because I'm afraid it'll come in this side. Oh, fifth, you can do fine meals now. Look at you go. should store some fucking steel up here, eh? Fredder thing for the 27 months. Speaking of steel, I'm probably running kind of low. Not bad. Shouldn't have done two shells, actually. That might move too much steel. Nah, that's only, what, like 300? We made a bionic leg. No time for poker. Components. How many are a turret? You just need to do that 24-7. Never stop. Thank you. They're getting there. A lot of them actually have their components in them and just don't have steel. I 
There's garbage everywhere. No, because he's my only animal guy at the moment. What in the fuck are you making? A helmet? You didn't even finish it, you asshole. Oh, that's why those never get moved. It doesn't just forbid the drilling. Is it literally one lurk left? Good. Also forbids the movement. They're not even healed from fighting each other. here and there. A drill arm or something? Calistigro lost a fucking leg. Well, now his toe problem's gonna be fixed. What'd you do? Fucking with your bionic tongue? Can't lose those cyborg toes. The fuck is happening? Oh, it decided they can't share a bed anymore. Smart move game, honestly. Rest in peace, Dark Ritual. You were, like, super annoying, honestly. You had decent skills, but you were always mental breaking. I remember, I thought so. And I kept confusing you for my vampire. How far out are you, Warcana? You're a you'll make it. Oh. It's an item. Interesting. Oh, fuck your components. Give me all those.
Now he can have two buildings attached to his coffin. You got plenty of juice. I'm out of meds? Shit. Did they have any? Just Glitter World, I ain't paying for that shit. did with his body already. Better be a component. It is. Well, I got you a lung and never put it in, didn't I? No medicine. I remember. Oh my god, that's back on the bench, but not done. No toes missing, no fingers missing. Calisthenia girl, it's come a long way. I mean, a whole leg, but like that doesn't count. Oh, the quest. Did I miss the quest? I must have missed it. Yeah. Fuck. I forgot. After that whole shit, shit show. More importantly, can anyone love Minnie again now? You're already in love. Trevor's married. Ooh, a 41% chance on Chum. Chum's with somebody, though, ain't he? No? Hell yeah. Chum and Jolts. Oh, they were already, they were already sleeping together. The old forced sleep together. But the real question is, can they even get pregnant? I don't even know. Don't tell me. Shut up. I mean, try to impregnate our vampire. It had worked in Twilight. Which is uh, possibly... The best reference for all vampire lore in uh, human history. Though Jolts has kind of got an old uterus even though she's ageless. I don't know what ageless does to your eggs.
<laughs> Fam pussy. Just get caught cleaned up here so I can start new jobs. There's probably some shit in here unfinished by dark that I'll never see again. It'll just forever live on these shelves. Like, what is this? Mallet Man's unfinished sculpture? He's been dead like two years. No, I'm bringing him back. He's going to be super mad I didn't leave his work there. I actually managed to find it pretty quick. It's probably more than that, but I found one, and that feels like success. Stupid solar flare. That's how Mellet Man rots. Yeah, that's a doozy. The whole meal smelled like a dead rat left in a stagnant pool. to elite expectations. Oh no, just because you're... Wow, I had a lot of meat on the verge of going bad, huh? A lot of meat. You botched the attempt to fucking make him feel better about his dead daughter? Good job. Didn't even know that was an option. It's not the best place to start a fire, but it'll be fine. Fleeing fire. I didn't realize that would have you go on a mental break. Oh, you're in here putting the fire out now. Ah, we're at age reversal demanded. I knew it was coming. Just four components each. Can't remember if I can relocate these or not. I don't think I can. Uh, 
I always want to just stick them in their bedrooms with them, but they're so big. Have a good one, Epic. It's fine once it gets rolling. It's just getting it rolling. That motherfucker has got some mining. I guess I could put a door there. Though they'll probably just always use that as the fucking front door from now on. Anytime they go come from that way. Whatever, that's fine. Who'd you just get converted? <laughs> Was it you? Oh, I forgot about this wetness over here. Critical wetness. Shit's all rebuilt. How exciting. Calistigro, welcome to adulthood. Apparently you're going to get into that animal game? That doesn't seem... Great. I wish you would have rolled crafting again. And a quick sleeper. Yeah, he's a engineered soldier. I know, isn't it a combo? It's unfortunate you didn't roll crafting. Oh, he needs a third passion. We'll just do melee, just so I don't get distracted.
Welcome to adulthood, buddy. Did your bionic bits stay on? They did. That's exciting. I was worried they might pop off. He outgrew them. Just forever has tiny child size arms now. Me too. I kind of wanted to see him just go flying. Yeah, milk that boomalope. And do it quickly, because you're very neurotic, so you wouldn't waste any time on poorly milking a boomalope. I liked it better when you went berserk and had somebody to beat up and get knocked out by. Send in the vampire. Yeah, he did a good job of that. I still love horseshoes. You got a burning passion to mine. Put it to good work. Oh, you almost got to level four. one off. I felt like that was going to fit a lot more than that. Doesn't fit very many.
Organa can't defend herself. She can, however, walk outside a door. Shit, they can't... Uh, oh, is it just the rocks? I don't even know at this point. Turret, please. I actually think I unintentionally saved myself because I do think they have to stagger the access point. Yeah, I think so. So leaving that one gap actually saved me. Can is still drafted. And now on a mental daze. Your lover died. Oh my god. Forgot you were getting pounded. Of course it was a lover. Why wouldn't it be? Oh my god. Everyone's demanding it now. Oh wait, no. Fifth wants to join it first? Oh, is that the case? He's like new. I could have swore you could put hay in these. Maybe they changed it. Not basically hay. It takes meat. Which is like the complete opposite of hay. Edible human meat. Or edible meat for humans. I forgot these are based on cleanliness too, aren't they? Yeah, they do have to be staggered. They can be moved. be a cannibal. Mm. 
not eating people is kind of cool and friendly. Not the power lines. At least not the chem fuel yet. Yet. Don't forget the pleasure cycle. New recruit made a muffalo mad. Revbanger. There's so many people that I owe a character to. You're so good at animals. Holy shit. But you're a slowpoke. You're the animal guy, man. Don't cook. Construction. Don't plants. All right, what do I got for melee weapons? I'm gonna have you equip an ax because I'm gonna send you out to tame and I don't trust you. Oh, you need a fucking leg. Oh, forgot about the muffalo. Oh, it's fine. He's dead. I need some damn medicine. Slow poke with one leg. Yeah, he's really moving. Going places. How difficult is it to feed a mega sloth? I don't know, but they're very tanky. No, you'll die to that. They graze, yeah. Let's get them to haul. You have to let them into places. They also graze your crops. But yeah, I've, I've used them. They're very tanky. They're very good for bug defense. Look, I've talked myself back into it. He'll probably just get killed by a Mega Sloth trying with one leg. Yeah, no, he can't go with one leg. See you in a few days, Skyline. wrong? No. Why can't I clean up this fucking dirt? Maybe it also it needs to be home? No, it is. Kind of. Weird. What's going on there? says rock rubble. This will get rid of it. I didn't get rid of that one bit. No, that's a home zone and a cleaning zone. I'm not sure.
They do have tiny rocky bits, but that's different. And when you hover over it, it doesn't say rock rubble. As an additional t text to the see how it adds that times one. That's dirt. I promise. Got a wild heel root. Maybe that'll let me put some legs back on my people. What else do I got coming? Animals. Beautiful dog. Beautiful female dog. Oh, buddy. Underground fast worker. Animals. And the rest are blood bags. Oh, wait. No, here's one. Animals. So they're just all social animals. Those furries. clean that one either. You can do it though. Huh. If I move it, it loses the food in it. Fuck me. Oh well. How's the vampire love life? Uh, I mean, you know they're fucking, right? They're not fucking. Inspired surgery. It's already got. No, no, he doesn't. Trevor doesn't doctor. Trevor can't surgery. Why'd you walk so close to a fire in the sun, vampire? It seems dumb.
What is that? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Oh, they don't take much power at all. I thought they took a lot more power than that. That's good. Out of steel, eh? Also breathes fire. He won't breathe fire for long. He's re remapping his genome or whatever. But he does still breathe fire right now. I really hate to watch you come up here shred this fucking iron and then just run away. Oh, well, you're stressed out. I hate to see you leave without a handful of steel. As soon as my... I finally got an animal guy just now. First one. And as soon as I... Uh, oh, my, my phone buzz. Uh, as soon as I think he can go out there and start taming animals without instantly risking his death. found love recently. Remember the love. Remember the love. Oh my god, he went behind the tiny little rocks. This motherfucker. Starvation. Yeah, we do have a lack of food again. Oh yeah, I put fifth in the bio sculptor after trying to make him my primary cook. Come down here, because there's food available. I should have given you a leg first. for a walk, go reverse your age instead.
You botched it. You fuck. You idiot. Why do you got all these bits if you're gonna waste... Ranger, you guys grew up together. Assist him. That bionic tongue, though, dude. I like that you took over tanking, too. We need to get you a bionic leg and not a prosthetic. Tell me how chill this dude is while facing double... Give you guppies, you earned it. If I had the medicine. Where's that new furry at? There he is. Oh yeah, we don't have the leg. Now it's not the issue of medicine, it's the issue of leg. So she's out of here. 22 hours. Nice. Did, will the vampire ask for age reversal? Don't tell me, but it seems weird. They're going to end up being zero years old on a long enough timeline. They'll become a kid again. Lots of people still starving. Guppy's wasting his time fucking healing people. I need fifth back. Oh, that's true. I could try. If one of my, like, 13-year-olds asked for it, they could go back. And... A newborn into age reversal? Mom gets pregnant again? That bio, you shove that into a different bio sculpting pod. No, it's not going to work anyway. Yeah, I would guess it only works after they're 16 or something like that. An age where there is no reason to not want to go backwards, you know?
What do you have, like a zero in construction? Why is your construction even on? It's not. Oh, you're just drilling. Never mind. <laughs> I just made you drill for a minute. Oh, Callus Tigra is stabbing him with a drill arm. Hit him from behind, chum. Just like you do jolts. Are you guys fucking yet? No. Can't handle that fucking damn pussy. Oh god, you've got no arms. Oh god. I sent you back in anyway. Oh, Dane's about to break. Dogs are scary. Fight each other. Or a vampire. No arms, huh? Listen, I don't have good arms for you. if you need arms to work a tree we're gonna find out not yet I think you need a little time Yeah, it's close, it's just I gotta deal with mechs without my defenses, which is spooky. shield belts. Yeah, I do have a shield bubble thing, though. A deployable shield.
All right, motherfuckers. At least it's all a bunch of half-ass wounded dudes. I don't want to hit him with a hammer. But I do want to hit him. Oh, I didn't realize you can adjust their hemogen amount. Oh, it destroyed its hoe. That guy picked up a grenade before you hit him. Takes a long time for you to repair a wall. What? I feel like Ranger's just been the center of my screen for the last half an hour. just really want to harvest that hay grass. Oh, I'm holding the wrong button. I'm fucking everything up. You just fucking love harvesting hay grass. I've come this far. Might as well just commit. Click another nine or ten times. Check that quest. It's fucking. I want to take it. It expires in six seconds. Don't think I'm going to be able to take it.
I'm warning Zev. The reinforced barrel and a doomsday rocket out here rotting away. How upsetting. We are stressed out. Well, that's just shitty psychic drone in relationships. I gotta go deal with that fucking psychic drone, huh? Like now. Is this it? Yeah. Point four days. That's nice at least. medicine. Not only advantageous, it just makes sense. Why would you build off that far away from a road? Just think about how people do. Fifth, this should give you some time to get ahead in the cooking. What, I left Ranger behind? Oh, I guess he didn't have a sniper rifle. Somebody's got to beat up these prisoners. not expect all that. It's in an interesting spot, though. I may not even have to touch it. They're all dormant. I don't know. I guess something will activate them? Yeah, I don't think we bother fucking with that. I think we just leave. We just take that as a nice freebie and get the fuck out and not worry about trying to get a little extra loot. Huh. 
I can take the mech nodes. Those are mine. They're worth 200 bucks. Those are my mech nodes. He doesn't lack a ranged weapon, he lacks arms. Plenty of ranged weapons to choose from. Serious lack of arms. He finally fits his character model. I think it might be time for this old boy to go to bed. Spend nine hours, 6.30 in the morning. Hey, we're finally smoothing floors again. That's how we know we're headed in the right direction. It was a mess out there for a while. Did I ever get a leg on Rev? No, I need to make a leg. Oh, which I don't have set to do. Try to remember where we're at for tomorrow. How long does the leg take? A minute. Let's get everyone home at least. Oh no. Oh, good dogs. Way to knock each other out this time. Caravan has ran out of food. Well, if they would have fucking walked 17 feet instead of going to sleep out there in the street overnight. take zero responsibility for them being complete idiots. Did he just muscle through that whole damn leg? I think he did. Stay rockets stored here. Thanks. Seems dangerous. Calistigo is still missing a fucking leg, and he made that whole. Oh no, he got his leg back. Somebody else is missing a leg, aren't they? Two arms, a nose, an eye, a nose, a nose. I'm missing a lot of noses. No, we're all legged up. We got one prosthetic. Is this another dog? Yeah. Spooky.
Ow. Or sucking, that's mean. Marine helmet's in good shape. I'll take that. What happened to the fuck? You just went and stole the medicine. What happened to the surgery? Oh, it, it went off without a, without a hitch, maybe? No. Revbanger just got out of bed. Oh. I mean, that's a... I stand by that statement. Why would you suck your own dick if you're not going to take the load? You'd be in the heat of the moment. Wanting to nut. You just take it. I'm saying, you just take it. Dogs should be like immune to being itchy. That's just part of being a dog. Yeah, he'll be fine. Why does he even need a weapon to hunt? He's a vampire. He can hunt with his fangs. I still haven't seen Got Some Lovin'. Which is upsetting. They need to do more vampire fuck. You just slept for like three seconds. Meanwhile, Warcan over here never stops sleeping. You're awake again. What do you do? Oh, a new dog. Uh. Who gave me the fattest load tonight? Kideka gone. Well, that's that good breeding furry, too. You don't do shit. Gonna be a lot of your idol. I guess I might leave that on too. Fuck it. Just so I don't gotta see how often you're idle. That was a good one. The erase from existence one. Who can you romance? Fuck. Little romance check before bed. Dane, are you not in a relationship? Wait. Orcana could use some happiness in her life. Minnie wants to fuck fifth. Fifth has no lover. Minnie had that good young breeding opportunity. They're a good breeding pair. Bro, I said to go... Oh, you, did you fail? Wait, was success successful? Uh, uh. I thought I said it was successful. Oh no, turned him down. Fucking mini. 
Oh, then go back and get him with that. Just kidding, I want it too. Oh, but now he's heartbroken. The kids, oh yeah, all my children have grown up. They're all adults now. I think four. One one grew up, then immediately went fuck this colony and left and just walked straight off. He was like this far from the edge and just walked straight off the edge. I like that I can't deconstruct these because I haven't claimed them yet. I wonder if I can even sell them. Components. Oh, I should just send... How much do they weigh? I might just send them to a civilization because they're worth 200 bucks. Nine kilos? Not bad. I'll do that shit tomorrow. I'm gonna go. We sleepy chat. We big sleepy. Thank you all for being here and being unbelievably generous tonight. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Probably stream during the day and then uh, we got a Madrinas thing we're gonna do with Alex tomorrow. Might check out that uh, that game. You know, that one. Uh, but yeah. Should be a long day of Strim Stram tomorrow. More Rim Ram? Strim Stram? I'm going to stop. Good night, chat.